Hi everyone, happy Monday. I hope you all are having a good start to your week and everything. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. And uh, sorry the starting soon screen was a little long. I should probably do more of my prep uh, before I hit that button. But hi Korok and hi Nimbly and Ollie and Crystal Mazes and hey Tortellini. Hi Moth and Fox. And hi Gabriella and Peachy and Devon and Andrew. Does anyone know which song this is? Oh, the starting soon song is the um, 7 p.m. from GameCube. And hi Peachy and Knife Party. And uh, I'm glad you're excited for today's stream, Moth. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna do more gardening. Um, the last stream that we did, we kinda did this little area over here and look the pumpkins are all grown so we'll probably work on more of just trying to bring Hobbiton together and hi Claire hi tiny brat and Andrew and Mercy and Jefferson ah you got a day off today Jefferson nice uh, I'm starting to take my vacation for granted a little I need to remember to soak it up and soak up every minute because I'll be back to work before I know it and hi, Winnie. Enjoy your lurk and your homework as best as you can. And enjoy your lurk too, Mercy. You're making a huge Quizlet for physiology. Ah, oh, what is a Quizlet? <laughs> is that like a mini quiz or something? And hi, Loki. Oh, thank you so much for the compliments. Uh, yeah, I do like the I do like the blonde wig. Um, and hi, C. Worley. I'm doing pretty good. I'm having a cozy start to my Monday. How about you all? I think Pumpkin pieced out, but I think we still have mittens back there. He's he's a shadowy black and white tuxedo cat figure in the background. You might still be able to see him. And hi, it's me, B. Oh, you like the you like the hair piece. Oh, thank you so much, tiny brat. And hi, sun dog and jam skin. Oh wow, why didn't your alert work, jam skin? I see that you uh, resubbed for nine months. I didn't see the alert. Uh, thank you so much for nine months and for all the hype and love and chat. Uh, congratulations on your fully grown tree, Jamskin. That's super cool. And I really appreciate you being in the Force fam and putting up with me for that long. It's really, really sweet of you. Uh, thank you so much for all your support and friendship. And hi, Trinity. Quizlet, you can make flashcards to study. Oh, okay. I am not familiar with that terminology. <laughs> Um, I remember some quizzes and tests that I took in school. Sometimes they'd allow you, like, open book, open note. I loved those. That's amazing. Yeah, the alert. Um, it, it should be active. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. I wonder, uh, why it didn't work. Um, let me see. Well, actually, I think if I go over to Streamlabs and try to activate it, I think it'll screw some things up. So I'm just gonna hope that it repairs itself, uh, the alert being missing. And let's go over to the full screen now so that we can see the yard and all its glory, the fully grown pumpkins. Look at everything. It looks so cozy. How are my pockets looking? How are the pockets looking? Um, well, they're not full, but they're not exactly great and organized either. We should probably sort them out. Oh, and hi, Shaz. Oh, I hope you're doing well today, too. Welcome in. It's great to see everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope we have a nice, fun stream uh, catching up with each other and making some progress in Bywater. New leaf music. Yeah, can you all hear it okay? Uh, let me know if the audio is all right. Um, I want it to be audible, but I don't want to want it to overpower my voice or anything either. So just let me know. 
I think I'm gonna start off by getting rid of some of the things that I don't see like an immediate use for. Oh, and hi, Slothy. Welcome in. How are you today? And hi, Jess. Your island has such a good and cozy vibe. Oh, thank you. I really like it too. I think it's coming along well and uh, it's just the sort of island I can see myself when it's all done. Like, um, I think it'll really give me like lots of serotonin. That's what I keep saying about it. Like, it just seems very cozy and uh, really does remind me of the Shire in a very Animal Crossing sort of way. It doesn't look exactly like the movie set, but it looks like a cross between Animal Crossing and the Shire. Love all the pops of color. Oh, thank you, Gabriella. Yeah, it's a uh, spring in the Shire right now. Gonna mostly lurk as I'm playing another game while I watch. Ah, oh, cool. Since you didn't say Animal Crossing, I bet that um, I bet you're playing some other game, Jamskin. I hope you have a good time. Thank you so much again for the resub, and um, I'm sorry about the alert. Um, I'll try to figure out what's going on with that. The other thing I'm gonna do, uh, I, I feel like I have a lot of trees in my pockets. <laughs> when do I not have a lot of trees in my pockets though? Are you all as bad as me about this sort of thing? Do you all also always carry around a million trees in your pockets? Uh, so uh, let's get these out of here so that we can, you know, feel a bit more organized. Chat is missing on stream. Okay, uh, that means that Streamlabs is screwing up. Um, all right, let me see if I can do something real quick. All right, so... I might even technically should like go on BRB for this. I'm messing with Streamlabs right now, so just bear with me if you want like a little bit of a live BRB screen to try to get it back up and running. All right, and uh, as I'm logging into Streamlabs, it's like emailing me a code on my phone. So that's what I'm checking right now. All right, so I did an authorization for Streamlabs. Um, I don't know, I wonder if I should just focus on this later. I, I think you all can probably relate to the fact that um, it's, it's a little bit rough doing this stuff while you're live. It can be very nerve wracking trying to troubleshoot something while you're live. So I'm really sorry about this. I don't really know what happened. Um, I guess I'm trying a few things, but you know, we could just have an alertless stream. Otherwise I might have to fiddle like what I'm doing right now to try to get it to work. Um, not gonna lie, feeling a lot of pressure and anxiety right this second. <laughs> um, all right, I might, <laughs> I might want to go on BRB if I'm going to mess around with this. Uh, be right back.
Uh, is it still not working? Oh, I don't know what to do, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this has never happened to me before. I don't know what to do. Um, I tried to log into Streamlabs. I tried to do something with my bot to connect to Streamlabs. I don't, I don't know what to do at the moment. I'll have to figure it out later when I'm like less stressed out, y'all. Um, I guess if chat's not gonna be um, on the screen, I guess this scene does look kind of silly. Uh, so let's just go over to the full screen and uh, get the Elgato up like this. And we can play like this right now. So um, I'm sorry again for the trouble. And thank you for bearing with me if y'all are still here and uh, didn't click out while I was having technical problems. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And I'll try to get it figured out. Uh, usually it's pretty automatic. This isn't one of the things... Like, alerts is not one of the things that usually, like, goes wrong or that I have to activate. It's usually just kind of there. And it's always there, and I don't have to do anything with it. So it's just like, oh, great. Uh, something's wrong. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. Sorry if I'm a little behind on chat while I was... Um, figuring that stuff out. Hi, Starfruit and Casey. Oh, thank you, Moth. And hi, Charlie. Welcome in. How are you today? Oh, thank you for the 100 biddies, Jefferson. Oh, yeah, it, it didn't seem to display the alert, but um, hey, when I first started streaming, I actually didn't have many alerts at all because I didn't really know how to do it back then, so I guess this is nice and vintage, and I'll try to get it figured out. Hi, Winter! How are you? Welcome in. Oh, and hi, Shaz! What's, what is it that's not working? Oh, it's just the alerts. Like, if someone follows, I won't be able to see. Um, I have a fancy alert that plays when you subscribe. Won't be, don't be able to see that either. But it's all right, so we can still play the game and enjoy by water together. Oh, and hi, Cody. <laughs> this forest fam endures all technical difficulties. Yeah. Um, this time it's more my fault rather than Twitch's fault, huh? And hi, Pumpkin. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the kind words, Pumpkin. And enjoy your lurk and enjoy your dinner, Claire. Oh, thank you, Casey. Wow, and Fox. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. I really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. It's okay, this doesn't have an alert. Vintage Vibes 2021. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you so much, Fox. Wow. It's really, really generous of you. I'll have to look over at chat for <laughs> seeing what's going on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and hi, Cosmic Peachy. How are you today? How's it going? Just have to keep pushing through. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst technical problem that can happen. It's not the absolute worst. Um, and this screen is okay, actually. I know a lot of streamers prefer having, like, a nice big, like, full screen where, you know, there's no overlay. It just takes up the whole screen. But I guess something that I have to get used to is, like, um, I don't like the way that my face is covering part of it. So it's like I'm covering up some cypress plants right now. <laughs> so I'll have to get used to this new method of, like, my face covering up part of the, part of the issue. <laughs> oh, and hi, Charlie. Wow, congratulations on your fully grown tree. Uh, thank you so much for all the support, Charlie. Um, really means a lot to me. Uh, let me, for anyone who's uh, had these like resub alerts, we do have like a sticker program that you all can uh, redeem stickers at certain milestones if y'all are interested. And I guess right now I'm just trying to see what sort of stuff could fit a Bywater vibe. 
Um, so I'll be kind of pulling things out that I think might could work. In particular, um, I really like these plants, the Arthurium plants or whatever. I think they're like the best for adding pops of color here and there. So I'm gonna grab some of these in particular. And I bet my pockets are already like struggling pretty hard. <laughs> uh, clean them out and then fill them back up. That's the way. That's what we do here. Oh, and hi, Unhinged Cat Boy. Aw, appreciate all the good vibes and great inspiration. Uh, thank you so much. That's really sweet of you to say. Yeah, never have to apologize for lurking and hanging out. I appreciate you being here. Oh, and hi, Angie. It's great to see you. What's up, Angie? And what's up, everyone in general? What are you all up to this Monday, either in Animal Crossing or in real life? Um, we've got festival in a week, so that's something kind of cool um, in the Animal Crossing world. Like, it feels like every day we're going to start getting closer and closer to that beloved February 25th, when we ha finally have green grass, for those of you that don't time travel. But as you can see, definitely in this town, I have opted to time travel. <laughs> Partly for decorating purposes, you know, I like to be able to landscape with the true vision that I have in mind. Oh, thank you, Angie. Making some mac and cheese. Ooh, I had some mac and cheese the other day. It was like from a restaurant. So it was like restaurant style mac and cheese and it was pretty tasty. Got me through like two meals between the leftovers and the OG meal. Anthurium number one. Yeah, do you all like have a favorite house plant when it comes to Animal Crossing? A favorite house plant? I have to admit, I am really gonna have to get used to this. I am not used to my face blocking part of the screen. This is so funny. Uh, <laughs> I hope it doesn't bother you all too much. All right, so let's drop some of this uh, flowery type stuff over here. Same with this random tree branch. Oh, you went to a treasure island for the first time, Jack? Oh, congratulations. I know you kind of have a newer town started around Christmas, so that should help you out a lot to like get some goodies and uh, not have to get everything the long way. So congratulations. And hi, Dinico. Great to see you. How are you today? Excited for my birthday on Friday and festival. Oh, cool. I hope you have a happy birthday, Cody. Uh, you'll have to remind us when it's actually your birthday so that we can like wish you a good one over in Discord as well. Playing some Mario Kart to get a get get a bit better. Oh, <laughs> I need to do that too. I suck at Mario Kart. Um, I wish I was good, but I also wish I was good in the way that probably like a lot of people are to where they don't need to practice. They just sort of naturally have those skills. Uh, Mario Kart's one of the things that once you get good, you don't have to like practice forever, right? You just sort of like know what to do to be good at it. Uh, you don't exactly forget all your tricks. Oh, and hi Vesharam. Yeah, we're playing in Bywater today. Having a lot of fun uh, decorating this town. Uh, welcome then, it's great to see you. I'm trying to sort of visualize what I want to do for this area over here because um, this is going to be an extension of the bag end garden so it kind of feels like right here would be a good spot for like a flower uh, what sort of flower am i feeling maybe like a, an orange or yellow or red one any of these calling to y'all Let's go on the beach and find some cute flowers and see if there's anything that speaks to us on the beach. Oh, and I'm pretty good, Dinico. Other than my stream giving me some technical difficulties, other than that, I'm pretty good. We won't have like any alerts today, which is kind of sad, but how about you? How have you been? Panera has amazing macaroni and cheese. 
Yeah, I actually, um, I've had that recently too. I guess eating out and getting takeout during the pandemic is such a mood. <laughs> I've gotten acquainted with that Panera bread mac and cheese, definitely. Oh, and hi, Cherry. How are you? Mac and cheese or grilled cheese? Um, for me, it was some mac and cheese and a very like untraditional sort of noodle. Not your traditional mac and cheese noodle. Oh, fan palms are your favorite winter. Treasure islands make me nervous. Why? Oh, um, just some of them have like a time limit. I know some of them are like, you, you have this amount of time. <laughs> Go and get what you need in this amount of time, and maybe it can be kind of nerve-wracking. Um, so I grabbed a few flowers. I'm actually feeling a yellow rose for that spot, perhaps, to sort of match the wall of Bag End. Oh, thank you, Cherry. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I slept in a bit today, and I think I have a new plan for what I want my schedule to be while I'm on vacation. I find that I'm like most productive at night. So I plan on like staying up all night essentially. And then like, um, that's when I'm productive. And then I just want to set my alarm for stream. So that might be kind of wild for me that like, I plan on mostly like staying up all night and then waking up just in time for stream. I, f I feel like that'll help me be more productive, which is some of the goal of this vacation. All right, I'm nervous. What do I what do I keep doing to tie this garden together? I started to decorate my second island and I was like land bridge. We're doing a land bridge. Ah, what sort of level of land bridge are you doing, Veshram? Did you all know that you can technically do a land bridge over like any size um, cliff like you can do like a, a tier one land bridge you can do like a tier two land bridge like this you can even do a tier three land bridge to where it's like a really really high bridge i think land bridges are a lot of fun too i'm, I'm getting pretty attached to them i think they're really fun gamecube music slaps i agree it's my personal favorite soundtrack all right, so since we got every anthurium plant that exists, we will have this problem of like not knowing which color each one is. You gotta love this issue. I, I never really think it through either. I'm just like, ooh, let me get all these like different color items. And I never think it through. <laughs> so let's see if we can find a red one or a pink one. Pink one might look cute too. Yellow roses, poggies. Oh, yeah, I know yellow roses too, Fox. Are you talking about the user here on Twitch? Yeah, they've been here before. Oh, and hi, Cassie. Welcome into stream. It's great to see you. I've been looking into treasure islands and some have a time limit of around 15 minutes. Just anxiety overlo overload. Yeah, it's almost like a mini game or something. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a game show. Like, here we go. Treasure Island, 15 minutes. Let's see who can grab the greatest stuff. Go. Like, that's what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, those are definitely a big help no matter how long you get to spend there. Some of them have like maps too. I've seen these treasure islands that like have maps. And, uh, like, they have, like, little directions of where everything's laid out. Alright, I'm trying to get the red one, y'all. <laughs> trying to get the red one over here. And, of course, it's not gonna let me drag this easily. Is there a command to see your dream address? Uh, not for Bywater. I have one for Athalia, though. I actually need to make a command for Bywater, probably. I like to have, like, a little command for all my towns. All right, I guess we're just gonna pick this one up then instead of trying to drag it around. Being too difficult. Oh, thank you for getting that, Mercy. I did a land bridge for the first time a few days ago. I love it. Ah, oh, you should post a picture in the Discord, Shaz, if you're interested. I love land bridges as well. I know Fox has a pretty good land bridge and 
Uh, raise your hand if you got a land bridge in chat. Tier 2 land bridge, I think. I'm trying to be smart with my inclines. So my lake is now on tier 2. Yeah, being smart with your inclines is always a good thing. I'm trying my best to sort of think about how I'm going to deal with them in Bywater as well. At the same time, though, it's so much fun to, like, go wild with inclines in certain decoration areas. So it's painful that you need them both for navigational purposes, but also sometimes decorating purposes. It's really hard to deal with. I wonder if one of these... Do you think that this bush would be better to be a flowered, like, camellia bush? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. I feel like this would be better as a flowered bush. I went to a treasure island earlier this morning, and it was interesting. Ah, what was your experience, Ollie? What did you do? Uh, thank you so much for uh, tagging me in that, like, Shire pattern uh, that you posted in Discord, by the way. It was super cute. Oh, and Angie, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Peachy, or Cosmic Peachy. We have a few Peachies here. Ah, oh, Cosmic Peachy, I hope you enjoy those emotes. And ad-free viewing for a month, courtesy of Angie. Angie, thank you so much for all your generosity and... Um, still doing that even though my alerts aren't working. <laughs> yeah, we got Goldie keeping us company today. I guess we should talk to her. She's wearing like her classic outfit. Does she have fleas? Or was I imagining that? I guess I was imagining it. I thought I saw like fleas dancing around. What have you been getting up to? I've just been, well, not a whole lot, I guess. Talk about dialogue in this game. Like, sometimes it just cracks me up. Like, they hardly say anything at all. But I guess that's a mood sometimes. It's valid to just be like, ah. You know, nothing's happening. <laughs> There's something comforting about a garden lantern. I feel all warm and fuzzy. This is actually my glitch up to the fourth tier garden lantern, Goldie. That's what you're looking at there. You have a horizontal land bridge. Ah, I love all sorts of land bridges. Horizontal ones are kind of interesting though because you can technically maybe see the sides of them more. You know what I'm saying? I want my island to be as cozy as yours. Uh, you can do it, Moth. Uh, there's so many ways to get a cozy island. I'm sure you can get the hang of it. All right, how do we feel about that little addition? Do you feel the orange rose, or do you think it should be a yellow one? I just want it to look all, like, nice and cohesive and colorful, but also just very... Like a sort of English garden, like a, a cottage English garden or something like that. That's how I want it to come across. Should we put some cypress plants back here? To cover up the cliff a little. Oh yeah, Jack, that's really ancient history. Um, I guess I had a new leaf town called Bywater and that's actually why this town sort of exist to some extent is just because I never finished the bywater from a uh, new leaf and honestly I think I can safely say that in general I'm probably never gonna go back to that new leaf bywater uh, I feel like the shire theme is so much more achievable in this game like with all the things that you can do um but yeah I was gonna try to make a shire themed island over in um my new leaf town and I'm kind of glad I waited until New Horizons. It's more fun to make it in this game, I think. Oh, and hi, Hammerhead. Welcome in. What have I stumbled upon here? Uh, well, this is my Lord of the Rings inspired Shire themed town by water. Um, and we're just sort of getting started and easing into things. We're kind of like working on the bag end garden right now. Um, 
the sort of garden that like Bilbo and Frodo have around their house and Lord of the Rings. It was a come and go island, so I had to wait for people to leave every once in a while, but they had a bunch of cool stuff and I got to Got a lot of drink and snack machine variants and those kinds of Nook Miles only stuff. Ooh, that's perfect for Treasure Islands, like all the different colors of the lighthouses and things like that. Uh, that sounds really good. I've never been to a Treasure Island, but I have had a hacker friend hack stuff for me before, so that's almost the same thing. Um, all right, let's go and customize some of these wedding flower things. By the way, uh, the little necklace I'm wearing, this is like a hobbit hole. Um, I know you probably can't see or probably can't tell, but uh, the necklace I'm in is like a little hobbit hole door, so I thought it would be appropriate for today's stream. Want Wild World dialogue back? Yeah, the older dialogue slapped. Oh yeah, I think I remember your horizontal uh, land bridge, Mercy. It was super pretty. Oh, and congratulations on your first Lily of the Valley, Trinity. Good job with that. I've yet to have a perfect town myself, so. And Jefferson, thank you so much for gifting us up to Moth. That's so sweet of you. Oh, Moth, welcome on into the forest, fam. I hope you enjoy those emotes and your time here and your acorn badge. Uh, thank you so much, Jefferson, for that support. I really appreciate it. Y'all are so sweet in my alertless stream. <laughs> oh man, I was trying to think of like more alerts to add and then this happens to me and then <laughs> like I have none of them. Oh God. What do you use to keep the cliff hidden for your horizontal land bridge? Um, I don't want to speak for mercy, but something you can do uh, is like jail bars or you can do um, the swinging benches, those wooden swinging benches make a good sort of hiders of the side of the cliff for a uh, land, land bridge. Oh, and hi, Hallie. Welcome in. How are you today? Great to see you. Ooh, Judy is in your campsite today, Jefferson. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, I assume you probably don't like need her though, so... <laughs> Are you just going to leave her there, probably? Uh, how do you feel about the wedding thing back there? Do you think a cypress plant would be better? I'll tell you what bugs me. This this being a 1.5 item, like, really kills me. <laughs> it hurts my heart. In fact, maybe the best thing to have would be another one of those cherry blossom things. Because then maybe the 1.5 items would like go well next to each other. Uh, maybe I should just have another cherry blossom thing back there. Do I have another one though? That is the question. And hi Big Vol fan and hi Devin. Oh, welcome in. It's great to see you. How are you this week? Probably gonna pass on Judy. She was neat, but I'm so attached to my villagers. Yeah, it's almost a shame you can't like share your campsite villagers, you know, you can't be like, oh, I'm gonna open up my gates for someone else to come get Judy. Um, it's kind of nice to see like who passes through and who comes in through the campsite, but at a certain point, like when you've gotten all your dreamies, it's a little bit like, oh, well, it was nice seeing you. <laughs> Oh, and hi, Ginger. It's great to see you. How's it going today, Ginger? Oh, that's a cool, like, Among Us emote you got. You've been staying cozy? Yeah, I've heard, Helly. I'm actually strangely, like, warm right now. Like, even though it is winter here, too. Um, <laughs> I feel pretty warm at the moment. Maybe it's a combination of all my streaming shenanigan type stuff. Like, I got the light and computers can sometimes be hot as well. So it could just be, like, uh, the fact that I'm streaming is why I'm hot. All right, does this work? Um... 
I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, I think in particular, if this was more of like a hedge rather than a bush, it might hide the pot a little better. The benches are a great idea. I've used bamboo partitions as well, but they don't have too many customization options. Oh, the benches are a great idea. Oh yeah, for the land bridge. Yeah, that's what I've seen in people's dream addresses. Sometimes it's uh, really inspiring just to see like what other people do with theirs. Um, I've even seen some land bridges that they don't really have the bridge be like a straight line. Like it kind of feels like to have a land bridge, like the first impression of it is to just have it be a completely straight line. But I've seen some cool examples of like windy, like curvy land bridges that have kind of deteriorated and become wild. Like those are pretty neat too. I uh, just love seeing what everyone comes up with. Uh, I guess I am feeling that uh, yellow flower back there because I think if I put a cypress plant instead, I think you're going to be able to see the pot and you know how I am about seeing the pots. You know, no, no pots allowed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. I feel like not a lot of people are like that. But yeah, since you can see that pot back there, I think I prefer the wedding, the wedding stand. Brain is fried from too much gaming with friends this week. Ah, that, that fried your brain, Devin. I usually think of stuff like school as being like something that would fry your brain. But at least I'm sure you, you got some fun out of it. Uh, let's try to plant some more bushes back here. Does that red bush look okay? Or should I just go with like a, a plain hedge? Um, or maybe like a pink bush would look nice and kind of coordinate with the cherry blossoms. It's so cold over here right now, so I'm ready for the summer. Yeah, I'm always kind of ready for warmer weather, Dinico. It's cold here too. I'm in so many layers and under all my blankets. Ah, I think I saw you post about that in Discord. Um, I highly recommend getting a comfy for anyone that has heard of those. I think it was like on Shark Tank and uh, sometimes you can find them in stores. I stand my comfy and it really keeps me nice and warm on cold winter days and nights. Oh no, I'm sorry it's snowing again, Ginger. The snow just like won't leave you alone, will it? Um, but I'm doing pretty good. Just happy to be working on Bywater with you all. I've only done one of my villager houses. It's Stitches and it's a fairy butterfly garden. Thank you, Treasure Islands. Yeah, they can be so handy. So how do you all feel about this so far? Is there anything that's like not speaking to you? Is the, is the yellow um, wedding thing speaking to you? Or would you just like replace that with a, with a bush? Uh, feel free to give me a critique on what you think so far. I saw jail bars either side of a land bridge once and thought it looked cool. Yeah, jail bars work great for stuff like that. They're nice and tall. They work well as gates too. You have eight inches of snow? Wow, Basil. That's a lot. We could only dream of that much here. Not that like I'm dying for snow or anything, but yeah, we don't get that much snow here. And hi, Jess. Welcome in. How are you today, Jess? I'm getting an Udi. It's basically a higher quality comfy. Oh, really? Throwing shade at my comfy, huh, Claire? <laughs> I have my eye on a leopard print one. Yeah, uh, if I do have something to complain about my comfy, I have a very plain one. It's like dark blue. I've got it like laying down over there. Maybe I could go and show you all mine sometime. Oh, thanks for getting that shout out for Winter and Helly, Ginger. You're the best. Uh, let's go and steal some more trees. I'm gonna eat some pears and look for the right sort of size tree. 
Oh, you're wearing your comfy right now, Jam Skin. You're on the you're on the comfy club. The snow is thick here, but my dogs are loving playing around in it. Oh, that's sweet. You guys on the East Coast are so lucky. We had a terrible winter this year. It's barely snowed. Oh, the East Coast? I'm kind of on the East Coast. Maybe it depends on where you're at, though. Oh, and enjoy your lurk, Korok. Thank you for the lurk. I hit over 100,000 points for Happy Home Academy because I've been working on my house a lot. Ah, congratulations. It's a pretty big deal. They're so big, they look super cozy. Yeah, the comfies, they are. Um, they're sort of like lined with Sherpa and then the outside of them is really soft too and they're just like really thick. So um, it's essentially like the sort of feeling you get when you're under the covers, only uh, you don't have to be under the covers to achieve that. I, I really like that about them. All right, I think I have an idea, possibly. So, to sort of break away from the hedges and to sort of mirror what I have on the other side, I think now I'm going to have a few blooming bushes to sort of tie in with the other half of the garden. You see how that's going to kind of mirror what's on the other side? And then maybe this will be the sort of end to the garden now, where the garden will be kind of like done at this point. I need one more like camellia bush to go right there. Oh, and hi, Ian. How are you today? Great to see you. Welcome in. I want an Udi. I have it in my basket ready to buy next paycheck. Ooh, it's already in your basket. Oh, you love snow, Mercy. I'm kind of indifferent to it. I, I guess it used to be more exciting when I was younger and in school and it meant like getting off of school, but. It seems like we all either get too much snow or not enough. Yeah, it depends on where you're at and if you get like tired of it or not. When you get snow anywhere between October to March, snow is the worst. Yeah, um, I know you've had a hard time with it making like your your commute hard to get to Ginger, so it's been kind of stressful for you. So uh, maybe like the snow is more fun if you can like work from home or whatever. But yeah, it can be stressful for someone that's got to like drive to work. All right, how's that looking? You want to get a comfy moth? Do it. Join the club. <laughs> Join the comfy clan. <laughs> You're browsing the website right now. We have Storm Darcy in the UK right now. Not sure why we name them. Uh, well, we name hurricanes. <laughs> we name hurricanes here. Do they wash well? Um, comfies? I actually... Don't, don't judge me, but um, I actually haven't washed mine yet, partly for that reason. I haven't had mine for a super long time, and I don't wear it like every day of my life either, so <laughs> I've just been kind of like holding off on them for now. But yeah, it has washing instructions, so I'm sure you can um, safely wash it and stuff. All right, so here's what's going on. The end of bag end garden is sort of going to be like maybe right over here. And then there's going to probably be some pathway that takes you down to whatever is going to go over here. So like this is where I've got to start making like a cute little transition zone where it's like half the bag end garden and half this garden and maybe look make it look nice and cute in that way. Uh, so let's see if we can plan this out. Got home from work, Ian. Trying to find museum inspo. Oh, good luck. 
Yeah, I'm not working on my museum quite yet. Not ready to tackle that. Oh, and hi, Joey. Welcome in. Yeah, we had to switch to this layout because the alerts aren't working, and so neither is, like, the Twitch chat. So we had to switch to this one, but glad you like it. If you all like it enough, we could uh, switch to this forever. Um, of course, the other one being like this. Uh, feel free to give input on that, like over in the suggestions channel on the Discord, or uh, just let me know which one you prefer. I was playing Fortnite with my friends and I set all of them on fire. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't play Fortnite. Oh, and hi, Lisa. Enjoy your lurk and enjoy your cleaning. I hope you're doing well, too. You're eyeing the purple or the zebra comfy, Mercy. <laughs> oh, mine is just plain blue. I got it from Costco, though, and it was on sale and it was cheaper. So. Oh, thanks for getting that shout out for Lisa. Oh, you all name like blizzards over there. That's interesting. I guess we don't get enough blizzards over where I'm at to name them, <laughs> so we just don't. Oh wow, this is so cool to like see how this is coming together. So it's all, all like orange and warm over here. And then over here it feels like the color scheme changes to like a lot of red and pink. So... Um, I do find that like kind of just an interesting dynamic. Um, maybe if I put some like pink bushes over here, it would kind of help tie the two areas together more. In fact, I think I'm going to start trying to make that happen. Oh, look at cute little Goldie keeping us company. Oh, thank you, Angie. Glad you like it so far. Loving the bigger picture as I always watch on my phone. Yeah, I use Twitch Mobile a fair amount too, but um, I also like to watch it on my laptop sometimes or on my computer, but it's nice to be able to watch Twitch on the go as well. Oh yeah, including you, Jess, including you. <laughs> I've decided to bulldoze my island for the first time. I've always just decorated my starter island. Time to build my own. Ah, cool. Uh, so by that, do you mean um, in the past, you've always just kind of like worked with your starting layout and now you want to, um, you know, create your own layout, sort of like what I do? Oh, I love this tune such a good song um, this little area right here is giving me some trouble though I feel like it doesn't look good I feel like this area looks kind of awkward I want to make it look cute <laughs> but at the same time maybe I should save it till later because I should probably focus on these cliffs first oh I love this song I'm totally vibing We name blizzards in the U.S. too? Oh, okay. It just must not pop up on my news, Ollie. I guess, uh, like I said, I don't live in the part of the U.S. that has wizard that has blizzards. I almost said wizards. <laughs> I don't live in the part of the U.S. that has wizards. All right. I've always been um, unsure with what to do over here as well. Like this little section uh, to lead up to the house. Um... So I think I'm going to start in like a cascading way. Like I'm going to focus on behind the town hall and then I'm going to focus on the cliff behind it. And then I'm just sort of going to slowly work my way up and create like a cascading garden. I feel like that might be pretty. I'm kind of excited about that. But first things first, let's get the trees around the town hall looking cute. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, yeah, I do hope you have a good time bulldozing your island, Joey. Um, I think it's totally worth it. I'm totally a fan of the bulldozing. 
Um, it can be a little intimidating building it up from scratch, but it can also be just the thing to keep you busy for a long time and keep you enjoying Animal Crossing. Um, especially since sometimes like it feels like that's the big part of the game uh, in New Horizons in particular is building it up uh, since some of the other aspects are a bit lacking. Okay, uh, pockets are sketchy. Pockets are sketchy, so <laughs> we have to take a little break to um, clear out my pockets. Earlier before stream, I was thinking about some like stream quality upgrades and stuff and some things to add like, um, I guess interest. And one of the things I thought about was, you know, uh, we don't use channel points bets a lot. Maybe uh, we could have a channel points bet on how many times my pockets will get full or stuff like that. <laughs> Um, I think usually the channel points bets here on Twitch are used for uh, competitive channels that like to like, you know, the, have the wins and the losses. Um, <laughs> but here in uh, my Animal Crossing streams, maybe we could also find use for those. You wish you lived in the part of the U.S. with wizards? <laughs> Where's the wizard part? Because I'm moving there. I don't know, Salem? <laughs> Where's the wizard part of the U.S.? You're having a blast rebuilding your island after bulldozing Jefferson? Oh, nice! I'm actually, like, really impressed with people like you, Jefferson, and I know... Lisa has done this too. People that like totally, you know, finish their islands and they're like totally done with it. And they like bulldoze and start all over. Like that is such an admirable trait and quality, the ability to like bulldoze your hard work. And actually, Joey, like you're, you're kind of doing that too because I've seen your island and it's very beautiful. And um, even though like it might be a very natural terraforming layout that you have in your current town joey you still put a lot of like love and work into it so um i hope it's not too tough to tear it down and if you want to redeem like another tour of your island or something before you tear it down feel free you might also want to consider waiting until spring what if you want to see your town in the springtime before you bulldoze just something to consider and think about Oh, and hi, Jamie. Welcome in. Gonna get a shout out for you as well, Jamie. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a cozy Monday. You know, I uh, have a habit uh, when I type out your name, Jamie. I want to, I want to do it like Jamie Skin or like a like it's a nickname involved with like skin at the end but then um i read your panels about why why you have that name and it's like a long-standing tradition for you oh and hi curious glad i could catch your stream i'm working on my island and having iced lemon tea wow that sounds very sophisticated <laughs> oh and thank you so much i really appreciate you being here and saying hi uh, we're doing some inventory management right now uh, I can't wait to use these floating biochip planters somewhere. I love these things. You're trying to bulldoze your daughter's island, Helly? So many flowers. Yeah, that's the painful part of bulldozing is when the, the town's not empty. I think it's actually kind of fun to bulldoze an empty island. <laughs> I, I, get a, I get a great joy out of that. Alright, so we're almost done emptying the pockets. After I work on my island a bit more, I might redeem a tour. It's almost fully complete since I played since day one. Oh, I'd love that, Jess. Yeah, feel free. That's what it's there for, showing off, you know, developed islands from the community. My western, my eastern beaches and a large portion of the coastal land are just a mash of trees and flowers right now. Oh yeah, so your island's kind of looking like mine, Jefferson. <laughs> It's a struggle, um, organization-wise, sometimes building up a new town, because you've got to have places to store all your trees and flowers, but you also occasionally want to maybe landscape where you're storing your trees and flowers, so it's like a 
weird uh, dichotomy, like a weird conundrum. I'm organizing my extra flowers by color and so many regrets, but future me will be thankful. <laughs> that sounds organized, Winter. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, cool, Shaz. I'm glad you think it's a good idea. Oh, and hi, Sock. I hope you're having a good evening, too. Welcome in. Oh, and Joey, you redeemed Tour Your Island. Uh, you want to tour my island one last time before I start? Oh, sure. You want to? Uh, do you want to update your dream address? Because um, that's another way to kind of preserve it for yourself, Joey, is to save the dream address. Or we can do another dodo code. I know sometimes in the past you've done uh, dodo codes. So um, let me know what you want to do. Oh, Megan did that yesterday. Type Jamie skin. Yeah. Yeah, and just let me know. Let me type something in chat in case you want to send something to me, Joey, like with the dodo code or something. And hi, Carly. Welcome in. It's great to see you. Uh, we're doing some gardening over in Bywater today. Nice cozy stream. Ah, oh, I just remembered what I was going to do. Sometimes, like, you <laughs> you start doing something, you run into a wall, like your inventory, and then you forget, like, where you were. <laughs> and that's kind of what just happened to me. I forgot that I was focusing on this area over here. But I remembered. I'm terrified right now. I have a large decoration of Jack from The Nightmare Before Christmas, and my mom hung it from the ceiling today, and it's dark. And I can see it poking over the door. Oh, <laughs> all the, um, all the safe, nightmare-free vibes over to you, Slothy. <laughs> that sounds like a cool poster, though. I needed to move my shop the other day, but just a space over. So for the in-between move, I placed it over a bunch of flowers I didn't want to get rid of. Oh, so did it get rid of the flowers, Jess? Because uh, I think usually when you place a building, it'll, like, get rid of the flowers. It might send them over to your um, recycling box, though. Have you all noticed that? If you, like, kind of place stuff, like buildings, on top of, like, dropped items, like, it'll usually send it over to the recycling bin. All right, so we got to take a detour and get some pears to move trees around. two things my Timmy and Tommy get the most business out of, like pears and shovels. You'll do Dodo Code. I haven't used the Dream Address feature since it came out. Uh, I feel like you should, Joey, but I don't want to pressure you, but um, I feel like you should have a Dream Address because your island's very cute, and even if you choose to not like promote it on social media or whatever, um, it might pop up when people do a random island in the dream suite, like when they select, like, I want to dream a random island. Yours might come up, and um, I think it would be worth it and worthwhile. That's part of the reason why I made one for Athalia. I was like, my island might not be done, but I feel like it's good enough to... Where if you landed on it randomly in the dream suite, you might have a fun time exploring it. So I figure I can always promote it more when it's actually done. All right, got got our pears. We're loaded with pears now. So just let me know when you've sent the dodo because um, I don't really see my Twitch whispers until like you tell me to check them essentially. Oh, sounds good, Helly. Yeah, festival is in one week. Um, that'll be interesting. We'll have to see how well that event fares. It's been a little while since we've had a big event. We had uh, Christmas and uh, New Year's. That's been a little while. <laughs> All Goldie's sweeping over here now. Quilson doing a little workout. Did you ever figure out what happened to your incline the other day? <laughs> 
No, not really ginger, but um, I did build it. Um, in fact, we're pretty much done with that like build that I was working on. That was like the road goes ever on and on, and it was like this winding road. Uh, we're, we pretty much finished it other than the fact that like I think weeds will make this like pop off. You know how pretty the weeds are at this time of year and I can just imagine like a weed in front of this fence, a weed over here, like uh, it's just I, I feel like the weeds will help it come together. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, but yeah this is how that area came out. Now I am a little bit you know, I'm eyeing these four inclines and I am a little bit concerned. <laughs> I'm like, that's half my incline limit right here. So, you know, I hope I can uh, make it work and that it's worth it. I figure what I can do um, if I want the inclines, if I need to, I mean, maybe this stretch of land could become wider and it can actually become something traversable if I need to incorporate these layers into the rest of the town. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jefferson, thank you so much for the hundred biddies for the road going ever on and on. Um, we might kind of continue some more big builds in the future. Um, for now, um, I have to demolish the Grey Havens before I can start on another big build. Um, because I think we've decided that the Grey Havens are not staying. So what I want to do with the Grey Havens is I want to like map out like what I had in case I ever want to recreate it again. And I get out the good old graph paper and uh, graph it all out on graph paper and then demolish it. And then th that'll create room for like future builds. Oh and hi Alina! Welcome in! Thank you so much. I'm glad you like how it's coming along. Uh, we're gonna try to make the ba the back of the town hall look cute. So wish me luck on this little adventure here. The winding road looks stunning. You totally nailed the feeling of a road going on forever. Oh, that's sweet of you to say curious. If I'm being honest, uh, I, I don't really know if you would know that that's what the inspiration or what the goal is unless like I tell you about it, but um, I still think it looks cool even if you can't pick up on the theme. Oh, and thanks for the hype, Ginger. Thanks again, Jefferson. You can do it if you're so inclined. I love it. We love the puns here, Fox. They're actually like... One of the uh, jokes with puns is that like I'm not really good at puns, like they don't really come to my mind a lot, but it feels like my community is really really good at them and we're always, we're always having fun with puns here. Alright, so I think something I struggle with when it comes to like cottage core, I have a natural tendency towards symmetry. I'm always like doing symmetry like just because it comes natural. So a part of me wants to just do two trees on this side and make it look nice and neat. And the other part of me is like, girl, do something more interesting than that. Do y'all feel that struggle? Uh, I'm gonna go and get some better fencing as well. I have like the hedges in my pockets, but I do not have the country fencing, and I'm all about the country fencing in this town. If you if you didn't already notice, you know, if you didn't pick up on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and get some country fencing. I've passed 200 tickets on my search for Olive. Oh no! That's quite a few tickets. Uh, you're kind of at the grindy part of your hunt, aren't you, Alina? Um, I hope you find Olive soon. Have you found many like little bears? Where did my country fencing go? Uh, maybe I'll have to craft some more country fencing. I thought I had some. But let's see, it's probably made out of hardwood. 
And uh, last night, um, I needed some extra coziness while finishing up some patterns. Um, I finished up some patterns last night. If you all want to see what they look like, I, pos I posted them over like on my Animal Crossing Instagram. So there's, um, I'm typing the link to my Animal Crossing Instagram in chat. And um, I was feeling really um, accomplished about getting those done. And I had Kiki's delivery service on last night while I was um, doing that sort of grindy pattern work and stuff. So um, that was really, really cozy. I really enjoyed that movie. I feel like um, Kiki's delivery service has like a lot of really good morals on it. Like I was getting like really inspired by just the messages and morals of that story. It's so, it's so wholesome. It's been all lions and anteaters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Alina, do you know about that trick to like reset your cash or whatever? I always hate bringing up the word cash because it's not like cash as in money. It's like some sort of weird term to refer to something technical. Like um, there, there's a way in the switch you can re reset your cash. And sometimes if I kept seeing repeats, I would reset that. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Doing villager hunting tomorrow. I'll finally find Eric. Oh, sounds like a lot of villager hunting going on. Good luck, y'all. Hope it goes well. Oh, and thank you, Ginger. Kiki's is your favorite Ghibli sock. Had it on VHS when I was little. Ooh, do you still have it on VHS? I wonder if that goes for like a lot of money now, sock. Um, my family has some old like Disney stuff on VHS and I kind of have my eye on it. I'm like, uh, do you think that's worth a lot now? <laughs> but yeah, I got into Ghibli kind of more as an adult, but I wish I grew up with it. If I ever had kids, which I don't really plan to, I would I would totally have them watch Ghibli movies. I wonder about Spirited Away though. Maybe you could wait until Spirited Away until you're like an adolescent or something. <laughs> there's some there's some freaky stuff in Spirited Away at times. There's some uh, there's some interesting uh, freaky stuff in Mononoke too, or at least there's like a little bit of gore. I think. All right, I'm going to. Get this Nook Mile spam out of the way. <laughs> Kiki is one of your faves too, Moth. Yeah, I, I forgot how much um, I liked it, basically. I actually um, tend to favor Totoro when it comes to the more, like, slice of life Ghibli. In my head, I kind of group Ghibli into, like, either slice of life or maybe some of the weird, like spiritual type stuff and uh since um i consider both totoro and kiki sort of slice of lifey i felt like i always grouped totoro in like higher regard but uh kiki's really impressed me yesterday it was so cozy well i'm trying to make something cute behind the town hall <laughs> let's see like, I, I wouldn't mind a bit more color. Like, maybe instead of hedges, I can use a bush. Yeah, the cash trick. Um, oh, so Alina knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, the cash che check, I think it was over here in system settings. And um, I actually have trouble remembering how to get to it. I think it was under system. And it might have been at the very bottom, formatting options, reset cache. Yeah, so the directory to get to it is to go over uh, to system settings, scroll to the bottom at system, and then scroll to the bottom again. And then that's how you reset your cache. Um, I felt like I noticed some differences when I was villager hunting whenever I reset my cache. I was Tombo from Kiki's one year. It's such a good one. Ah, oh, Tombo's the boy, right? 
I have that little boy was so sweet. I was kind of like standing him. I was like, oh, he's the sweetest. I mean, Kiki's really sweet too. Oh, and hi, Shivi. How are you today? Great to see you. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to apologize for being late. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I've had an okay day. We've had a few like technical problems though, so <laughs> that's been a bummer, but um, I've, I can't complain. How about you, Shivi? House Moving Castle is my favorite Ghibli, but Kiki is also so good. Same with the soundtrack. Yeah, I've been really enjoying um, the Ghibli soundtrack lately. I even sort of played it in the last stream that I did as background noise, but I didn't want to get too repetitive, so I put something else on today. I'm listening to some uh, New Leaf and old Animal Crossing music. Oh, welcome back, Heli. Princess Mononoke is my fave. It's dark, but that's part of the charm for me. Yeah, that might be next on my list. I kind of want to go on a bit of a Ghibli marathon and just like watch something almost every day. <laughs> oh, thanks for linking the Discord, Ginger. Kiki's on my island is one of my favorite random move-ins. Oh, she's on mine too, Joey, as I'm, I'm sure you probably have picked up on from watching my Bywater streams. Am I running out of fully grown trees? I feel like I keep, like I have a lot of teenager trees. Oh, here's some over here. Oh, I love all the Kiki love. Kiki's is uh, your favorite, Heli? I want to rewatch a Ghibli movie, particularly Whisper of the Heart. That one's resonating with me right now. Yeah, I think Arietti, um, I have access to that one and I haven't seen that one. So that would be an example of a Ghibli movie I could watch that I haven't seen yet. Oh, and Charlie, thank you so much for the nine month resub. I really appreciate it. That means a lot to me, Charlie. Thank you so much for being part of my community and the forest fam for so long and for such a long stretch of support it really means a lot charlie all the hype and love for you and um i'm so glad to hear that lately you've been doing well and thriving and got that part in the play um so props to you charlie 2021's your year You're looking for another path, Mercy? Oh, good luck. Sometimes it's fun to look for a new path. There's so many cool ones out there. Oh, I'm sorry you've been kind of down, Shivi. Um, I know we all love you for your fun and your silliness and your puns, but it's okay to be down sometimes and uh, take some personal time for yourself. So definitely do that if you need to, Shivi, and all the love to you for feeling better. I was here if you need to chat. Um, I need some more bushes. I keep running out of bushes. Let's go and get some. Oh, here's some. House is my comfort film and hi. Oh, welcome back, Heart. I remember uh, meeting you on my last stream. Uh, thank you so much for stopping back in. I was so happy with the work we did on the last stream with Sam Gamgee's house and today it's felt a little bit more scattered because I'm not working on like a house yard at the moment. I'm kind of trying to like work on the town hall and like work my way up. I'm kind of interested in the way that maybe I can design these different layers. Yeah, something I'm interested in, can you even see those trees behind the town hall? like in front of the town hall. I feel like you can't. So maybe I should just like not plant these here. An interesting um, thought just came to me. How have you been finding Korra? Oh, thank you for asking, Joey. I'm also watching Legend of the Korra sort of casually. I'm only on the second episode of Legend of Korra. And I guess overall I find that 
It's quite a bit different from the original Avatar series, but I actually think it's creative what they've done, how it's in sort of a more modern time. And even though I've heard a lot of bad stuff about Korra as a character, I guess personally I don't find her all that bad yet. Uh, who knows, like maybe some of the stuff that gets on everyone's nerves comes later, but yeah, I'm kind of digging it. I'm at the part where she, uh, you know, snuck into that battle or whatever, the, the uh, bending battle. All right, let me go and get another shovel, dang it. <laughs> These shovels. Oh, should we eavesdrop on these two real quick? Oh, wow. Quilson sent Goldie some handwritten poetry. Quilson putting the moves down. So uh, he's like, which ones were the best? Your cautionary poem about the smug villager was so sad. A poor guy had no self-awareness at all. Ooh, is this like a self-insert for, for Quilson? Smug Villager. I don't remember writing any cautionary poems. Oh no, I'm sorry. I guess I must be misremembering. I've read so many things. No need to pick apart my poetry for any hidden meanings. That's all me, right down on the surface. Still, don't hold back your criticism. I can take it. For better, for verse. I'm not sure what to make of that conversation. <laughs> it was cute, though. Mononoke, Spirited Way, Howls are probably tied for my top three. Ah, oh, that's really close to my top three, Shivi, except for Totoro. This is the New Leaf soundtrack. It always makes me nostalgic. Yeah, I think right now it's playing um, the main street at night. Oh, your fave is Howl's. Howl's is really good. The one I found last night was amazing, but the person must have restarted because the code doesn't exist anymore. Oh no, mercy. Do the codes restart? Uh, or do the codes not work anymore when you restart? Because there's this town I have that has like some... Like, it has a creator code, and I do plan on, like, overriding that town. Am I gonna run into a problem where those codes won't work anymore? Oh, that's so sad. Please tell me that's not true. Oh, no. That, like, ruined my day. <laughs> it was like the rose mosaic patterns I just made. Like, uh, I, I plan on deleting that town. Mononoke is so good and powerful. The Cat Returns is good as well. It's my nephew's favorite. Um, I haven't seen uh, The Cat Returns. And you're right, it is a little bit less popular than some of the other ones. I've been anxious today about school and getting behind, but yeah, just been sad and tired. Oh. Yeah, definitely do whatever you need to do for your self-care, Shivi, and we're here for you. It's gonna cost me so much to move my resident's house for this demolition. Oh yeah. <laughs> Requires some turnip money to be sure. Oh, thank you, Charlie. That means a lot. I'm glad you like it here. Yeah, Totoro is so good. I, what I love about Totoro, you just get so attached to those girls and that journey and you know they're going through a lot and it's just really emotional and meaningful and I like Korra's character a lot actually so far. I'm low-key in love with her. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, she's not so bad. She's a little strong-willed, but she's not like terribly so or obnoxiously so. We like a strong-willed character. Oh, and hi, Newfie. How are you today? Great to see you. I grew up with Totoro and Spirited Away, only ones I've ever seen. Ah, cool. Uh, so maybe Spirited Away is something you can grow up with. I kind of thought it might have too much questionable dark stuff to be like a, a kid's movie. 
All right, so I'm feeling some glitch tree action, potentially. That would be pretty cool to, to get some of that going on, because <laughs> then I feel like maybe the glitch trees you would be able to see over the town hall, and it would help be like a cute background for the town hall. Um, there's always that question of like, what do you do around the town hall? Because it's kind of an awkward building to deal with, but I figure if I have like lots of foliage above it, that might be like a, a pretty way to add to the scene. If anyone needs money, DM me on, sh on Discord. Oh yeah, Shivi is offering her very own Shivi's delivery service. It's very, very generous of her. Oh, and hi Tova, great to see you. How are you today? Welcome in. We're uh, landscaping in Bywater today. I feel like you are up on the Lord of the Rings fandom, Tova, so maybe you'll enjoy some cozy Shire decoration. Although right now we're just kind of fiddling behind the town hall at the moment. Yeah, Ponyo. I have that on HBO Max too, so uh, maybe that's another one I can watch on my little marathon. Alright, so I'm gonna plant this really quick just to see if I can see it above the town hall. And then I might go ahead and go about this a different way, because if I do a tree glitch up here as well, I need to start from the top and work, work my way downwards. That's just sort of how the tree glitch works. Uh, you, you have to start at your highest tier and then move down the tiers. Um, but first, I, I guess I just want to see if you can see the tree there. Oh, you can't really. <laughs> you can't. Uh, dang. Well, that complicates things a little, doesn't it? I guess you can see it from some angles, like you can see it from this one, <laughs> like you can see it at the very top. Um, interesting. I feel like that might be borderline not worth it though. Like that might not be worth having like a row of trees here if you can barely even see it. The girls from Totoro are so cute. I want to give them a hug. Yeah, they're so sweet. So is Kiki though. I feel so bad for Kiki when she's like trying to figure out what to do and she's she doesn't know like how she's gonna like find direction as a young witch. It's it's kind of sad, but I'm glad she gets through it. Okay. The cat returns is one of my faves as well, but. Ever since um, one of my cats passed, I haven't been able to watch it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Carrot. Uh, maybe time will heal all, but um, I actually sort of uh, know how you feel in a weird way. You know the cat Kiki in this game? Um, I had a black cat with like big gold eyes, just like Kiki when I was growing up. and. Um, it was actually probably overall like my favorite cat ever like he was like my absolute favorite and um, I felt like I couldn't really have Kiki for a long time um, and uh, I, I guess I feel like I can again now which is good which is a positive uh, my kitty though didn't look exactly like Kiki he kind of had like a, a white locket he had like a one of those locket cats where they have a white spot on their chest. So he didn't look exactly like Kiki. <laughs> Cora is hot as spork. Not me simping. Spirited away scared me as a child, especially no face. Yeah, you don't want to give uh, kids nightmares. Uh, there were some movies like that that freaked me out when I was a kid. Uh, Iron Giant. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen Iron Giant, but that movie scared me because like there's this part where like he sacrifices himself and it's like all I could think about was like him <laughs> like blowing up in the sky or something. I don't know. There can be weird stuff that like freaks kids out. So I would want to be conscious of that. Ah, uh, someone wants to talk to me. It's Murphy. Oh, and hi, Yellow Cottage. Sure, I'll pull up my map in a minute. Looks like we're gonna learn a reaction here. 
You have the Ponyo art book, Catboy? Oh, that does sound like a very treasured possession. Ponyo was the first for Disney Ghibli movie, so it's the most kid-friendly. Yeah, it's also just very wholesome and playful, but I should watch it again because uh, it's been a while. Here's my map, by the way. Oh gosh, I'm embarrassed by my map. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, essentially, I've started at the village. You see that little village that we're at? Like, I've started there, and so that's kind of my branching point. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get to the rest of the map. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. I regret giving my Spirited Away art book to my ex. Oof, oof, that's painful. I can't. Oh, well, yeah, I, I'm sure it was a nice thing to do, Shivi. So never mind. Don't regret it, you know. It was nice of you. Don't regret it. I like Spirited Away, but glad I didn't see it as a young kid. <laughs> I love it so much. It's my personal favorite. The big baby and all the weird shenanigans. It's got it all. Alright, thank you, Joey. I thought I mentioned to like sort of let me know in chat when you sent the dodo code and I maybe I missed that message. Um yeah, but I'll, I'll go and get the dodo code now, and we'll uh, take a little break and head over to Joey's Island. Joey redeemed an island tour. Oh, these two are chatting now. <laughs> Look at Murphy with his magnifying glass. He looks like a little Sherlock Holmes or something. How do you come up with all your confound and flat doodle? I do have a word with... I do have a way with words, huh? Well, all my content is pure original Quilson. I mean, all those highfalutin horse feathers you sprinkle all over everyone. Where do you even come up with the stuff like savoring the tangy taste of our local pears? Don't you agree the mouthful of pears on this island is to die for? Mouthfeel? Okay, this is the weirdest conversation ever. Like had a weirder conversation. That was bizarre. What are what is like New Horizons on? Like <laughs> the dialogue in this game is either like boring and like means nothing, it's filler, or it's just like off the wall. Like what what's going on? Like what's happening? That's the, that's the two scales for the New Horizons dialogue. <laughs> I don't even know what to say or what to process. Okay, so let's go and get this dodo code going. Um, I might even uh, switch over to my other overlay because my other overlay has like a little fox that I can hide the, the dodo code with. You're a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Oh, nice uh, Tova and welcome back. Great to have you here. Hope you enjoy this uh, island tour of Joey's town, too. Uh, it's a really pretty town, and he's about to bulldoze it. So, you know, last visit before the bulldoze here. Send Joey all the positive vibes for bulldozing such a developed island this late in the game. All right. Let's go back to that big screen again. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, well let me try. Let me try again. Whoa, what's going on? I see a hype train and I'm behind in chat. <laughs> what's going on? I must know. Uh, thank you all so much for activating that. I don't know what happens. I'm behind. My alerts don't work. I appreciate it though. Uh, thank you all so much. I'll see you in a minute. We'll catch up while I'm on the airplane here if we if we can board this flight if it works. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for me with these uh, dreaded dodo birds here. Um, all right, we're gonna try this again. 
two years into this game and uh, there's still not an option to just be like, oh wait, you know, I made a typo. Let me try to just like re-input this code, Dodo Birds. There's still not that option here a year in. So we had to talk to them all over again. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Oh no, drumsticks. All right, Joey. Got a... Uh, I'm handing it back to you, man. I think I think we need a new dodo. So let me know when you got a new one, Joey. I'm sorry. I'll keep my eye on my whispers. <laughs> oh, Japanda man. Thank you so much for the five month resub. I really appreciate it. Did you start the hype train? Oh, thank you, Japanda man. Uh, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for that uh, long streak of support. And I hope you have had a good start to your week. Thank you so much for five months. And I'm sorry the alerts aren't working today. Uh, how are you today, Japanda man? Oh, you remember Iron Giant, Mercy? Yeah, th I, I hope you see it in a whole new light now that you know that that movie gave me like nightmares and scarred me. Can you see why though? Like the the way that he flies off and like sacrifices himself. You grew up on Bollywood movies. Oh, that's really cool, Shivi. Uh, you should be proud of your heritage. And um, I've heard a lot about Bollywood, even if I haven't watched a whole lot of it myself. I know it's a big deal. Oh, and hi, Heart. You're snowed in today, so playing New Horizons after a bit of a break. You've inspired me to stop procrastinating on my shopping district. Been trying to capture a sort of French medieval village. Ah, oh, nice, Heart. I, I can't wait to go and uh, see that sometime. Um, I'd love to tour it, just like uh, how we're trying to tour Joey's. I'd love to tour it when you're all done and Good luck on your development. Oh my gosh, I see the hype train leveling up. What's going on? It's a very mysterious hype train today without alerts. <laughs> Thank you for the for all the hype and leveling up the hype train, y'all. Detective Murphy. Yeah, isn't he adorable? Oh, I'm sorry, Joey. I'm a big dummy. I'm the worst. Um, let me know when you have a new dodo, because that one wasn't working for me, Joey. Two years ago, I had one of my cats pass. It was a really unexpected because he was only two. I actually moved in Kiki to my new leaf town because of that. Oh, that's weird that we share that sort of history, Cody. Uh, both sort of relating to Kiki in that way. Quilson weirding everyone out on the island. I feel that, Cody. Like, Quilson's like the... He's like the, the guy that doesn't have a filter. He just sort of says whatever he wants. Iron Giant is something I'm glad I didn't see as a kid. Yeah, feel, feel bad for me, Catboy. <laughs> Save the trauma for kids over 10. I know, I saw that so young. It was, it was too young. Oh, and hype for your Christmas path, Mercy. Oh, and Devin, thank you so much for the 510 bits. And Ms. Demeanor, thank you for gifting a sub. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Kira Dev, and thank you, Ms. Demeanor. Oh, by the way, Ms. Demeanor, remember how the last stream I tried to send you a dodo code and you were like, wait, I didn't get it. I did send it to someone with a similar new username. So <laughs> that happened. I sent it to another misdemeanor. Oh, thanks for all the hype and love and chat, everyone. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for continuing your gift sub, misdemeanor. Okay, so let's uh, go over to the airport again and uh, try a new dodo code. I see Joey sent me a new one. You can continue this hype over in Joey's town. And also, look at the sunset, it's so pretty. And Jefferson, thank you for gifting a sub to Carrot. That's so sweet. Uh, thank you all so much for all the support and love. Thank you for this hype train. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it's because we're not friends, Joey? Oh yeah, this is my sketchy Bywater switch. <laughs> Um, 
So make sure to just uh, set it to everybody. And have a great day, Cody. Thank you so much, Andrew, for the 200 bits. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Robin, for gifting a sub out into the, into the community. Oh, Robin, it's great to see you. Thank you for gifting a sub to Sock. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are the freaking sweetest. Thank you all so much. I'm really like blown away right now. Thank you all so much, so, so much. Let's just say, uh, say all the words and not make any sense. I've been struggling a lot with my mental health, but your stream is one of the only things that calms me. Oh, wow, Moth, thank you so much. I really know how that feels because I also like uh, Twitch streams a lot and I like to have them on in the background and it's nice to sort of uh, listen and hang out with a community and enjoy like one of your favorite games, both maybe while playing, while watching and also hearing them. And that really, oh! That really means a lot. You, you didn't see it. It really, it really means a lot to me that you, you could get that out of my stream. Yeah, you didn't see anything, y'all. Nothing at all. That didn't happen. <laughs> I do not see it, emote. <laughs> oh, you, you know those emotes that exist out there that I do not see it? <laughs> All right, so let's let's try this. Oh, and Jefferson, thank you so much for the hundred biddies there. You're so sweet. Oh, thanks for all the hype and love, y'all. Can't wait for my island to look this pretty. Oh, we're about to go see the prettiness of your island, Joey. It's so pretty. Well, you know, we're still struggling with the dodo birds. The dodo birds have been the nightmare for the past half hour, so... <laughs> we're, we're finally on our flight, though. <laughs> we made it. Oh, Jefferson, thank you so much for the other hundred biddies there. Y'all are so sweet. Peachy, thank you for the hundred biddies as well. Everybody to Joey's Island. Oh gosh, I'm glad I caught that. <laughs> yeah, nothing sus here. I was lurking while playing with my new Animal Crossing makeup and wanted to join in the hype and love. Oh, thank you, Robin. That's so, so kind of you. Uh, I'm so happy I caught up on the chat and um, it was really sweet and funny earlier when you know, normally the alerts kind of tell me what's going on, but uh, with this time, um, I sort of like to catch up on chat first, and so I, I was sort of missing everything and like in the dark. So thank you all so much for um, all the hype and love and all the support. It really means a lot to me. And uh, how are you liking your new makeup, Robin? I am sort of picking up on the fact that everyone that ordered the color pop is sort of getting that in the mail here. Oh, do you see Pumpkin behind me? We got our sweet Pumpkin uh, keeping us company too. Oh, she's so sweet. My room is so messy right now. <laughs> like, I'm a little embarrassed about this screen because it's my room is pretty messy and this shows more of it. But there she is. Need to clean this later. <laughs> oh, and hi, Joey. Um, I guess I'll start exploring here. Um, I really like the way the paths have like this little border on them. And it really goes with like all the warm tones you have with the flowers on your island. And also, um, this island is called... I feel like it's called something Zelda theme. Am I wrong? Yeah, Kakariko Village. I feel like that's a Zelda theme. I could even like hide my webcam temporarily so that y'all could see all the villagers that live here. Got Ketchup, Tucker, Eric, Kid, Cleo, Punchy, Sly, Bam, Kiki, and Cat. Look at me naming all those without even looking at their names. What a pro I am. What a pro. <laughs> oh, Fox. 
her little white tail on the end. Yeah. She she does have like a little white tip at the end of her tail. I think it's pretty common with tabbies. Oh wait, did I get Dell and Sly mixed up? Frick. Alright, we're we're gonna try to figure this out. Oh my gosh. Cyphern, thank you so much for that brand new sub. Ah, oh, I'm so so sorry my alert's not working. We're gonna raise those acorns into trees for you um, in, the, in that spirit. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome on into the Force fam and thank you so so much. I hope you enjoy those emotes and ad free viewing and all your time here. And feel free to also uh, check out the Discord too if you'd like to join us off stream. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for adding to the hype train and for all the love and support and Thank you all so much. Uh, I hope you all got some cute hype train emotes. That was really, really sweet. Gonna try to make it look like Kakariko. I feel like I wanna see this Kakariko village. I haven't played Breath of the Wild, but I wanna like... Okay, so um, we can answer it once and for all here. Who is this? Oh, it is Del, dang it. What, who is Sly then? Who is Sly? This is who I thought it was. Let's see if I was close. So, so it is an alligator. It's like a, uh, it's like a camo alligator is who I thought it was. All right. Well, I was close. Forest fam hype. Yeah, thank you all so much for the love and the hype today. I really appreciate it. Looks like a weird emote where someone's being shot with like an arrow? That's really weird. What would you use that for? But yeah, here we are exploring Kakariko and all the cha all the charming like house locations. Uh, you gotta love when town creators do stuff like this and like every building sort of has its own area and has its own place to explore. Oh, you knew who Sly was, Mercy. Darn it. I like to I like to take pride in my Animal Crossing knowledge, but now it's just all down the toilet. <laughs> Gotta hang my head in shame for that. Uh, and here's a little sign that says garden. Let's go up here and explore the garden. Got your gold rose farm. I think you have to create gold roses from black ones though, so this is where that gold rose farm is made. It's like more like over here. You had Dell way back on Tarot Town, Shivi. It's nice to remember those OG villagers and those old those old faces. Kakariko and Breath of the Wild is so pretty. It was one of my favorite places the first time I went there. Ah, cool. I think sometimes I see, um, like I've been browsing lots of like lo-fi playlists on uh, YouTube and I think sometimes I see like Kakariko Village in there. Wow, look at this. Look at this rock garden with Stonehenge right in the middle. And I actually think ironically, like what ties it all together even more than the rock garden and the Stonehenge is like all the little details. This is some really stunning like pattern work and coordination with the red bushes and flowers. It's just a really well put together area with all the details. That's the sort of detail work that I strive to achieve in my streams often. Like I'm often working on little details like that. And here's the campgrounds. You're going to be living it up on these campgrounds because there's plenty of places to cook and bathe and do your laundry. What is this music? <laughs> oh, let me know if y'all like it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be creative about my music choices on here. Is it too loud or let me know if you want me to go back to the Animal Crossing one. Oh, and hi, Pasta. Thank you for the feedback, Devin. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of uh, exploring this island. I want to see like all the little details. So um, I'm sorry I get kind of like caught in the weeds over here. Oh, there's a dinosaur. 
<laughs> Imagine a dinosaur getting in my way. But yeah, I guess this is like the forest of Kakariko over here. Lots of trees. Oh, thank you for stopping by, Pasta. It's great to see you. Always love having you here. We're exploring an island right now, so this isn't my own island. This is Joey's island. They're about to like bulldoze the whole thing and start all over. So um, it's like the final tour before the bulldoze. Ah, I remember when you were working on this area, uh, Joey. I think you asked for opinions about it over in Discord. Didn't know that dinosaur was there. Oh, really? That threw you off too? It's like, what is blocking me? Oh, and sweet Eric's house. Eric's house is such a mood with all the wooden fencing and the and the gnome. And uh, who lives here? Is this Punchy's house? Pun Punchy's got a cute yard as well. They all have such cute little yards that have like personal touches, like um, made just for them. So comfy and uh, neighborhoody, yeah. I admire that about this town. I feel like it's all about like the villagers and the yards and giving all these homes and yards like space to breathe and be their own own spaces in town. Oh, I'm glad you all are liking the yards and liking the town. Eric is a cutie. I um. I've had him as a lazy in some of my past games, but only briefly. I've never had him as a dreamy before. And then up here, we've got a graveyard. It feels very sentimental and quiet and peaceful up here. Um, really great like incline use leading up to the graveyard. I feel like graveyards work really well like that when they're like separated from the rest of the town to sort of give them their own space. Um, it feels very like fitting for a memorial area like that. Oh, and then the, there's like the pirate shore over here. Makes me wonder what you did with your secret beach. Oh, there's Joey. I found him. He's chilling out over here. Ah, look at your... um. Peninsula. I feel like I didn't see that. Look at that stylish peninsula. Oh, I like stuff like this. I like arrangements like this. Oh, let's go and check out the peninsula from up above. We've got a lighthouse and a road that leads to the end of the peninsula. And it's a really great like kind of lookout spot. Just gonna chill here with Joey. If you bulldoze an island, does it just clear the land, or do you start from the beginning? Um, the ter terminology with bulldozing is specific, specifically like the former, like uh, the word people use when they like start completely over is like restart. Um, but bulldoze is when you just sort of tear everything down and you just try to give it a new vision, but you actually still like have all your DIYs and stuff. Oh, look at blathers on the sign. So up here is the museum. I'm excited to see what you did with your museum. Very nice little uh, informational, simple panels outside the museum. And I can tell you definitely worked a lot with the default terraforming because this kind of reminds me of the default terraforming at the beginning of the game. Oh, and hi, Mighty Owl. Welcome in. Oh, it's been a while. It's great to see you again. Uh, you dropped by in the middle of a cozy island tour of Kakariko Village by Joey. Um, I don't know if you're kind of a Lord of the Rings, or not Lord of the Rings. If you're an avatar. If you're, if you're a Zelda fan. <laughs> Let's just like name everything we've talked about today and not actually get to what the core of Kakariko is really from, which is Breath of the Wild. But yeah, this this island is named after a village in that game, which, you know, I haven't played, so <laughs> go easy on me. 
This doesn't look like spring. Oh, hi, Spiky Taco. Yeah, we're doing an island tour right now, and this is specifically someone who doesn't time travel. So uh, when we fly back to the Shire and uh, work more in the Shire today, it will be in springtime again, but uh, the channel points reward um, that I have for doing an island tour redemption is what we're doing right now. Uh, let's go and explore Joey's house. I really like this yard. I learned a lot from decorating this island. I'm excited to take all my skills and create something amazing. Yeah, sometimes I feel like that too, Joey, that I learn from decorating and like get better from decorating. So it's sort of nice to think of all the fun stuff we can do over the years with this game as we continue to get better at decorating. I love this room. This room is so good. Look at all the divisions and look at that like middle center piece. I love this room. Oh, congratulations on moving in Marshall Mercy. I definitely see the Zelda influence when I'm not playing New Horizons. I'm dying in Breath of the Wild a lot. Oh, cool. I'm glad you get it, Mighty L. Yeah, Kakariko. I know it's a really, like, sort of comfy village that a lot of people love in that game. Oh, shut up, Curious. <laughs> that would be awesome, though, wouldn't it? Come on, that would be a killer island if it was inspired by all that. You know, just make a character for Gandalf, for Aang, for <laughs> Link. It, it'll totally work. Oh, I love this like workshop room back here. This is so classy. Where'd you get this rug? Is this like a rug in the game? I feel like I've never seen this rug before, but it's really stylish. I love it. I love this room. My front room, I tore up because I hated it, but the rest of the rooms are done. Yeah, I'm glad I kept exploring the house, Joey. This island, very beautiful though. It is very cozy and very rustic and homey. And all these rooms are really well done too. Very cabin-like, great coordination of wooden items together. It'll be hard to bulldoze without time travel. Yeah, well, uh, moving all the buildings will take time without time travel, but um, actually, you know, doing the bulldozing, it doesn't really matter like what t what day it is for that. I'd like to come and see... I'd like you to come and see what I've started on. Oh, sure, pasta. Um, feel free to redeem those channel points. I'd love to see your island too. Um, pasta is a really nice decorator as well. Oh, and Joey moved over here. I think I'm missing the market at first. The market is um, a really cool addition to this plaza. I like how it's kind of like wintry themed items. Like I feel like the sleigh, the red flower might look kind of like, what are those red flowers? Poinsettias. So it's kind of a winter themed marketplace. Oh, and this is super aesthetic here by the entrance, but I think I've explored almost everything. Let me know if I've missed anything, Joey. Um, I guess now that I'm, th I'm thinking of it, I think I missed this farm on my first go around. And I might have missed a few things over here. Like your little orchard. Oh, I hope you uh, had a good dinner, Shivi. It's an argyle rug? Ah, oh, okay. I I must have missed that one. I'll have to look that up. It's a really cute item. Oh, the top floor room is the best thing I've made in any Animal Crossing game. Very proud of it. Yeah, I love it too, Joey. Uh, that was really creative, what you did with those um, climbing walls faced backwards. That was stunning. It's 
it's not nearly far enough along, I don't think. I've made a rough draft of my front portion. Okay, yeah, it's up to you, Pasta, to make that judgment on if you think it's developed enough for a tour, but, um, yeah, since all I see is, like, your Instagram photos look amazing, though. Oh, and hi, Moontendo. Hi, Katie. Welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, and Jefferson, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Yeah, that was a really nice tour of Joey's Island and um, all the love to Joey and rebuilding it and creating something new out of the bulldozing. Yeah, are you going to start the demolition tonight, Joey? Technically, you could even bulldoze everything except the buildings. Like, um, you don't have to wait to move all the buildings to bulldoze everything. You can just sort of bulldoze around the buildings and then gradually move those to the beach. But all the flowers will be a pain too. What are you going to do with all the flowers? I'm a master of hiding the underdeveloped majority of my island. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Gotta love how when we post our like Twitter and Instagram shots, we're never like, hey guys, look at look at my storage for trees. Look at this beauty right here. We always like go to the areas that look picture ready. <laughs> Gotta love that little bit of um I don't know what to call it, manipulation. Uh, it's, it's a little bit sneaky of us. Oh, thank you, Targaryen. Thank you so much for lurking and hanging out while um, while working. I hope your work shift is going well. I guess for the meantime, we'll get back to work on sort of trying to figure out what to do over here. I'm trying to figure out what to do behind the town hall, because if I figure that out, then that will also play into what I'm doing over here, because they're all really close together. So in general, I'm just trying to figure out more what I'm doing over here. I've already torn up the marketplace since you left. Oh, wow. <laughs> Going quick. I have something to tell you. I wish you didn't have to find out this way, but my name, it's pronounced Shivi. With the, with the I sound in shimmy. Oh, so like shivy. Oh, okay. So I should say it like shivy. So you'd like me to, um, oh, okay. I can definitely do that. I'm sorry for getting it wrong. Uh, shivy. Gosh, it's gonna, it's gonna take me some time to get used to it though, since I called you that for so long. Almost done, I finished my main tasks. Now I'm waiting to see if I have to start another project. Oh, okay. Glad your work is going all right. I, I sure am getting used to this vacation life. It's gonna be a rude awakening when I have to go back to work. <laughs> like right now, I've been living in either pajamas or stream clothes. And when I go to work, I wear like, um, I always wear like exercise leggings and then like a long top. <laughs> like I'm kind of sneaky that way. I'm like, I want to be comfy if you're going to have me like lifting heavy stuff. I want to be able to bend my legs. So I always wear like exercise leggings with like something long on top. <laughs> and I'll have to, sometimes I even wear like a long coat with it. So I literally look so ridiculous like I'm wearing leggings with a long coat. I'm just the style, I'm the most stylish person at my Costco. What can I say? Um, all right, let's play around with these pathings. It's hard to visualize because I can't really, I'm not gonna use the in-game pathing. I know it looks like I'm using the in-game pathing, but I'm actually gonna one day use like a cobblestone path that I have not finished yet. So sometimes it's hard to visualize like how the pathing's gonna actually work when it's my path and not like the in-game path. You know what I'm saying? But I guess I'll just start off with this for now and just know that I'll replace it with my own patterns later, rush roughly.
My raise went on my check. Oh, congratulations, Pasta. I'm happy for you and your raise. All the hype and love for that. Sorry it's been so long. I just felt bad saying anything. Yeah, I can understand why, uh, Shivy. We've we've known each other for a really long time. I remember you in some of those like really early New Leafs New Horizon streams when I toured your early iterations of Tarot Town. I mean, I remember all that and I've been calling you the wrong thing this whole time. So, you know, eventually it probably became awkward to correct. But yeah, that goes for anyone in chat. Feel free to let me know if I, I'm saying your username or your name wrong, like I was for Shivy for a long time. Sorry about that. Oh, we got Mr. Mittens up here too. Let's go peek at Mr. Mittens. Oh, is he gonna cuddle with Pumpkin? Like he's gonna cuddle next to her, not just like on the same bed, but he's gonna sit next to her. Oh, babies. As a person with a name on a non-common pronunciation, I feel that shivy. While we're at it, I'm coming out as a Zutara shipper. Well, we are, we already knew that, didn't we, Shivy? <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you like my flower crown. Oh, thank you, Mercy. Yeah, I like having fun with wigs on my stream because um, my real hair, it's like really, really long because of the pandemic and it's really like shapeless and long and there's just nothing going on with it. Like with the layers, I haven't had my bangs trimmed in a while. So I feel like wigs are a fun way to spice things up and ignore the fact that my hair needs a haircut. <laughs> I wish the custom design paths would show on the map, like the in-game path. Oh yeah, that's such a bummer. Um, yeah, I know Athalia's map doesn't look super fancy because, you know, like you can't see the pathing. It's just all like the custom designs. All right, I'm trying to figure out how I should do this. Sorry for kind of going in the tank a little. Um, like I'm looking. And it's like, this is where I want the path to be. And do I want trees along here? Or do I want trees along the bottom? Because I might be able to do that. Something that I saw really cool recently on Animal Crossing New Horizons social media that I just kind of want to throw out there for anyone who's also looking to get like subtle bits of inspiration. Um, I saw someone do a sunken column. Like, you know, the like idea of creating something kind of sunken by surrounding things with terraforming. Uh, someone did that with like a column and it looked really cool because from where the player was standing, the column was like at the same height as the player. It was like a column that was like level with the ground from where they were standing because it was sunken underneath terraforming. And uh, I thought that was really, really cool. And I'm actually gonna try to maybe achieve the same effect with trees right here. Like uh, I think I finally, I guess got a little inspired to try something here. So we're gonna, gonna try it how about right here is like a regular tree and then we gotta leave room for that regular tree to grow so then we'll sort of do this over here All right, so that's one game plan. And then maybe my first like edged tree that'll be kind of like a sunken tree will be like sort of where I'm standing, but up above. And then maybe I'll be able to see it when I'm up there on that path. Do you know what I'm saying? Like when you're standing on that path, you'll be able to see this tree right here, just sort of like looming in front of you. I'm curious about the effect. Cat cam, yeah, I need to set up my cat cam. My to-do list is kind of scary. 
<laughs> I've got a lot of stuff I wanted to do during my vacation. Let's hope I get some of it done, like setting up the cat cam. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I might cry. Can I not set up the tree glitch? Oh no. <laughs> I really wanted to. Because look, this is what you need to do to set up the tree glitch. I can't do it. Uh, what can I do to get around this. Um, I guess what I could do is simply not do a glitch tree. Like maybe I could just have the cliff go all the way to the edge, you know, imagine that, fathom that, like not cheating with planting a tree. <laughs> I think that's one thing I could do. <laughs> that, that would, that would solve the problem, wouldn't it? Did anyone else see my epic new Twitter layout? Ah, no. Um, I barely ever go to people's individual Twitter pages. I just sort of scroll through my dashboard. Uh, what did you do, Shivy? Back from your lurk with uh, snacks and cozy blankets. Ah, oh, welcome back, Robin. That sounds really cozy. See how this sunken tree looks. Oh no, it's not really as satisfying as I wanted, if I'm gonna be real with y'all. Maybe a cedar tree would be a bit more satisfying because they're taller. But you know how I am with cedar trees in the Shire. I feel like they wouldn't be in the Shire a lot. I feel like oak trees would be more common. But still, I guess the sunken tree doesn't look terrible. Maybe it's worth keeping. Oh, Joey, that kind of in some ways makes me sad that you're asking that. Like, no judgment, but Joey, you've been here forever. You were here before New Horizons even came out, and I used to wear my hair, my natural hair, a lot more. But yeah, if you scroll down on my Instagram, I have plenty of pictures of me with my normal hair. Um, you'll have to scroll, actually, because I admit I've been taking a lot of pictures with wigs lately, but if you scroll... <laughs> You will see plenty of it with my natural hair. It's just like dark brown. It's almost black um, Some people would actually argue that it's black, but it's it's like dark brown and it's kind of wavy um, But it's not like super curly either. It's like on the wavy side All right, so how's this looking? It's looking a little symmetrical is how it's looking <laughs> Oh dang my desire to like always have symmetry biting me in the butt like it always does. Uh, how can I not make this symmetrical? Um, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to not make it symmetrical. Maybe it just has to be symmetrical, okay? Don't at me. Can we get a spork in chat? Oh, why? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the Robin with the spork in chat. <laughs> Isn't it like black or dark brown? Yeah. Uh, I actually wore it on a stream last week. It's actually still in the VOD. Or maybe not last week, but the week before last, like two weeks ago. And I thought I looked really ugly in it, so that's why I <laughs> have not returned to wearing my natural hair. I don't think it's too symmetrical, at least with the trees. Oh, thank you, Sock. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little with what to do. I want it to look nice and natural and asymmetrical. Um, so this is inherently an asymmetrical space because it's like an odd number of spaces um so that's interesting <laughs> this is really tricky maybe i should just go for a vibe of randomness and just like chaotic randomness and that's one way i could uh break the symmetry like 
how on one side, maybe on one side I could have the cliff go out a bit more. How about on this side I have the cliff go out like a little bit more. Yeah, Lee, um, don't take the symmetry thing personal. It's just because in the Shire, I feel like things should look natural and symmetry can inherently sometimes look unnatural. Uh, that's the only reason why I seem anti-symmetry. It looks it works really well in the right island. I have dark brown hair as well and it's annoying when people say it's black. Oh, you relate, Vix. Yeah, and um, it's funny because it's not like I'm protesting that it's black in the sense of like I would have a problem with black hair. I think black hair is really pretty, but I just, um, you know, I have an eye for proper color and what it really is. And I just know it's not as jet black, jet black as a lot of people's hair color is who really is do have that color. So... All right, this looks a little less uh, symmetrical, perhaps. It looks a little bit more natural, so I'm happy about that. We achieved asymmetry. We can breathe again. You had to get more storage. Oh, I'm sorry, Joey. Uh, if you ever need like a storage town and you're like bulldozing, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to open one of my towns for you to just drop stuff in temporarily if you need something like that, Joey. I'm happy to have that service with basically anyone. I knew someone in the community that um, had two switches but did not have two online switch accounts. So what I, was, what I was able to do for them was sort of open up one of my towns just to have them transfer stuff. And it was pretty easy for me to do. So yeah, just throwing that out there. change tree sizes it'll balance the symmetry oh that's a good idea um i guess i kind of want the trees on the top mostly to be tall because part of the appeal is that sunken tree thing that i was rambling about but um maybe some of the ones on the lower tier can be like the the teenager trees or the smaller trees What if you did a little waterfall pond on the right? Ah, that's a cute idea. I feel a little bit bad with my uh, lack of enthusiasm for waterfalls when it comes to this town though. I guess just when I see pictures of the Shire in uh, like the movie set, like I never see waterfalls. So uh, since I'm going for realism, that's part of the reason why I haven't done a whole lot of those yet. Um, for this little section, I was thinking of maybe putting a tree up on this little island, although a waterfall sounds adorable too, to be honest. And then, oh yeah, what if that looks cute to have a tree like right here behind the lamp? And then a tree up there on that island, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I think that'll be cute. I like that. Oh, this is looking better, I think. We're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Jet from Avatar doesn't even have jet black hair. <laughs> oh, I love the jet reference, Shivy. What do you think of jet? Um, <laughs> are you a fan? Do you, do you think he had a solid redemption arc, Sh Shivy? Oh my gosh. Every time I say your name, I have to double think. I'll get used to it. Oh, you didn't like his character? Very inspired that you have such nice hair and still pull, pull off so many wigs realistically. My hair is dark and thick as well and I have such dark eyebrows and I always feel like I look strange in wigs. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I um, do sometimes do something a little extra, Catboy, where... Um, if I wear a green wig, I'll put like green eye sh green eyeshadow on my on my brows. But I didn't do that with a blonde wig because, like you said, I have dark eyebrows. So I don't know exactly how to make my eyebrows look blonde when when I wear a blonde wig. So I'm just going for the mis mix match today. Uh, you know, I know they had that same problem with Daenerys in Game of Thrones. 
Uh, they kind of like put some soft like powder on her eyebrows, I think, at the beginning. Oh, why, why, why are the villagers like hanging out up here? Like, really? <laughs> Y'all have to be all up in my business at all times. And you just always have to be like where I am, just like a, a cat in real life. You know, like when I'm working on something and my cat sits on it. It's like these, these villagers are the exact same. They, they pull the same crap. <laughs> but I love them for it still. Yeah, so the tree glitch keeps not working because of not having enough setup because of it being near the town hall. So, darn. Just gonna have to do things naturally, aren't I? But yeah, something else that helps with uh, Wigs Catboy, something else I just thought of. Um, get like a wig cap and um, like clip back your hair, even if it's thick, just like clip it to your head essentially. And then um, the wig cap will keep it all under your wig, even if you have thick hair or even if you have long hair. All right, let's try a tree like right here. And I feel like maybe some of these being fruit trees would be nice, but I'll probably save that for last to be like, oh, I'll put this tree here and this apple tree here, this peach one here. Um, I'm not going to do that right this second. I'm just going to plant oaks. about Jet. I get the com the charming Robin Hood vibes, but he just took himself too seriously. Yeah. My island is Rivendell, and I'm trying to make waterfalls a thing. Um, it's a lot of work. Ah, oh, Beth, I'm really inspired by hearing that um, you want to make a town themed around Rivendell. I've actually kind of wanted to build that myself, not necessarily as like a full town thing, but as like a build or a project at some point just for the fun of it. Uh, sometimes I like to do little projects just for fun and I do want to do Rivendell one day. Um, so good luck and uh, I'd look forward to seeing how that looks when it when it's all done and to see how it turns out. Dark brows and blonde hair is kind of a look. Yeah. It's a common thing because it's so popular to dye your hair blonde, you know, it's such a popular color that it happens a lot in real life where uh, people have dark brows with blonde hair. <laughs> Look, terraforming, wouldn't it be a shame if I just sploot right here? <laughs> it looks like they kind of cleared out, maybe they heard me talking about them, they kind of cleared out. Oh, and hi, Spider-Man. Um, uh, I have a few commands for friend codes. Um, it's exclamation point FC, but um, in general, sometimes because there's a, a limit on the amount of friend codes, try to make sure that um, I add mostly when I'm about to do multiplayer or do some sort of trade or um, things like that. Um, and I actually have like more than one switch too, so it can get kind of confusing. Like I have um, a few different switches now. All right, let's go and uh, steal some more trees. I'm out of like the, the size of trees that I need. Oh no! <laughs> Did you see that pear just like disappear there? The weeds like ate the pear. I might have a crush on this guy, but he doesn't have pics of him on Insta and stuff, so I tried to see if I happened to have any because I took a photo of something I needed. Oh. <laughs> My friend wanted to see. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Uh, Strawberry has a really stunning island. It disappeared. Oh, it did. It did. <laughs> Queen of the puns, Miss uh, Miss Shivy. Why do you have two switches? Um, so I can have more than one town. It's actually a pretty common thing with um, Animal Crossing 
Twitch players. Uh, you'll see a lot of Twitch streamers here in the Animal Crossing community have like more than one town or more than one Switch. It's a shame that Nintendo has to have that requirement. You know, it's a shame that we can't just simply buy more copies of the game. But yeah, one of mine is the Animal Crossing Switch, indeed. So maybe this is one way I can mix it up and maybe I can have a smaller tree here, like just a cute little small tree to lead the way. I don't know, maybe it's a look. Gotta plant our fruit behind it to freeze its size. The only hair color I actually feel confident to dyeing my hair is blonde because dark brown brows and blonde is so cool. Oh! More validation. I know some wigs offer wig caps when you buy them. I'll have to do that next time. Yeah, that's the way that I got mine. Um, they came with some of my with some of my wigs. Oh, and hi, Leah. Welcome in. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I have to say, Leah, one thing that I got a huge kick out of. I was watching one of your streams where you're playing um, Game Boy Advance, and you checked out like Nancy Drew. And I was dying because it brought back so many memories. Uh, how many of you all played like Nancy Drew games when you were growing up? Like, uh, do you remember those old her interactive Nancy Drew games? I hope I'm not the only one. But yeah, it's great to see you. I hope you're doing well tonight. I'm trying to make some more progress on Bywater today. I watch a lot of Animal Crossing streamers and they usually have to. Yeah, it can be fun, and um, there's even not just streamers, but a fair amount of people in the community also have, like, two Switches. Maybe got one, like, years ago and got another one recently. I've always hated my eye color. Oh, why? I'm sure your eyes are very pretty color, Shivy. Don't uh, believe anything else. I feel like that phrase comes from somewhere, like, don't believe anything else. Um, where is that from? It's gonna bug me until I remember that. Oh, and wow, Sam, thank you so much for that big cheer. Welcome in, Sam. Thank you so much for the thousand biddies. That's really, really sweet and generous and kind of you. I can't thank you enough, and I'm sorry the alerts aren't working today. It was actually this whole big thing I couldn't figure out, and that's why we're on the screen that doesn't have the chat in it. And, uh, I'm so sorry the alert didn't work, but thank you so much, Sim, for the thousand biddies, and how are you today? Welcome in. This is sort of what we've done so far. We've been planting some trees just as a baseline around the town hall and I like how nice and random they look. So I'm digging that. I feel like it'll be really aesthetic just to do things like plant a flower here and then put fencing behind it and then put a bush behind the fence. Like just sort of do a really cool layering effect. I really can't wait to do that and just tie it all together. Let me demonstrate. This is like my favorite move right here. Flower, fence, and then hedge behind it. <laughs> it looks so nice. Oh, thanks for all that hype and love and chat for Sam. The Nancy Drew game. I finally was making some progress on it and then I got a game over for dropping the chandelier. Yeah, I was dying. That killed me. <laughs> It reminded me how there were like sketchy little things like that. Like that's a Nancy Drew trope. You can run into trouble in that game. Like get a little curious and clicky clicky about something and then it's like, whoop, game over. Weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, all the puzzles and all the dialogue. Uh, it's just so funny. All right, so I actually wasn't feeling the mom because it was hiding the fence too much. 
but in general I'm more excited to design up at the top rather than here on the bottom so maybe I'll start here at the top and then work my way downwards because this is what's more exciting to design is like over here by the house maybe I can do like a tree glitch over here maybe that would be cute Oh, and enjoy your shower and tea sock. I've hated my eye color because it makes me look less Indian. And people always assume I'm fully white and it's my whole identity crisis and feeling like I don't belong. Uh, I wish that um, I could help more or say just the right words, but um, keep in mind that uh, you shouldn't have to need like any sort of exterior validation like for your culture and your heritage um, you are who you are and you don't need any sort of eye color to validate that that comes from you and from within I remember when New Leaf was the game and I followed folks who had 10 plus towns on Tumblr and could just make new ones whenever they wanted yeah, there was also hacking in New Leaf that allowed you to have more than one town, but also, like, New Leaf was, like, 20 bucks, so it was like, hey, sure, you know, I'll buy a new town with a new paycheck at times, um, and that was how easy it was to get a new town back in New Leaf. I miss it. Oh, Shivi, you're always free to share and express things on stream. Never feel uncomfortable about that. Oh, look at me uh, getting your name wrong again. We can't set anything on top of the hay bed. I've complained about that too, Mercy. What's up with that? Petition to be able to place things on top of a hay bed. Um, I found out, though, I think it's because the hay bed is literally a bed you can lay on. And anything that you can lay on like that, like a hammock, a bed, technically you can't put anything on it. Uh, but you can always try the one that has a pumpkin on it. I could barely keep up with two different towns, though. Yeah, that's always a struggle when you get a new town. It is sometimes hard to keep up with. Alright, so let's do, like, a large tree. Oh, no, I don't have a large one. Or do I? This is technically one, even though it's a pear tree. <laughs> We'll just pretend it's not a pear tree. Oh, and hi, Rakia. Welcome in. How have you been? Hope you're having a great day and a great start to your week. Finished moving the flowers, Winter. Oh, congratulations. How long did that take you? Um, we, we're sort of doing some tree glitching type stuff and trying to uh, get like all this layering together. Um, I am kind of excited about it and see to, to see how it comes together once the tree planting is done and we can get to like the, the gardening of it all. Like I know I want this to be where my mailbox is and I want it to be the cutest little garden around a mailbox ever. Like that's my vision for it. That's what I want. I want an adorable little mailbox garden, but I don't really know how to make it happen. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's figure out a good place for the mailbox. And I really liked the idea of like a green mailbox to go with like the Shire theme, um, to go with the green door. Hey, it matches the door, you know? And um, maybe behind the mailbox, we can put a bush. Oh, that looks super cute. It kind of like adds a nice contrast with the mailbox. And then maybe right here, we can do that fancy like spooky fencing because the spooky fencing kind of looks like a gate at times. So maybe that could be a look, I'm not sure. too long. The flower moving took too long. <laughs> and uh, this is some like snowy music. Do you all like the snowy music? Or I guess it isn't very fitting. 
since we are in springtime after all, we could always play something else. Um, I have like this Ghibli Jazz um, playlist, maybe we could try that. <laughs> Let me know how you all like this. What did I come in here for? <laughs> I, I genuinely don't remember. Oh yeah, this fence. It's like seeing the fence that reminded me why I came in here. Now let's see what else we got while we're in here. We went to all the trouble, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, I need to not forget about the biochip planters. Those work really well with gardens. Yeah, I'm not super inspired by what's in here, if I'm being honest, so I'll probably just go back outside. Uh, maybe I'll grab a garden lantern. Oh, you've been uh, snuggling your squishmallows? That's really sweet. Um, I've been hearing a lot about squishmallows lately, even though they've been around for a few years now. I feel like they're really getting like a lot of attention on social media and stuff. I've thought about getting one, but um, I feel like I already have like so much stuff and um, I guess I feel like it would be like uh, just more clutter around my room. Oh no. This is like a little bit sad for me because I really like the look of this. And I like the look of this, but I don't like how they look together, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like the way those two fences are lined up. Maybe I should just keep going and keep rolling with it, and then as I fill in the rest, it'll look less weird. Uh, that's something to consider. But uh, right now, I don't really like the way... Um, the fencing seems like oddly lined up, doesn't it? Alright, so we're gonna put that there. Maybe like a cute tree somewhere in here. There is the question of how are you going to get to the mailbox. There is that question, but part of me is also tempted just to have an aesthetic mailbox that's hard to get to. <laughs> um, we could try one right here, maybe. My Squishmallow addiction is growing. They're so cute and cozy. Ah, oh, which ones do you have, uh, Katie? I relate, Shivy. I've been told multiple times I'm too white for my Latin Hispanic last name, and it's always like, what are you supposed to say to that? Oof. Yeah, that is one of those things that it's like it's none of their business to say anything like that. That's really weird. I'm sorry that you all have to go through that. Oh, and go and get some popcorn, Lisa. Rocco's Modern Life? I haven't seen that show. What's that show like, Carrot? You love Squishmallows too, Ginger? Embarrassing, because I'm in my mid-twenties. Ah, you're never too old to appreciate things like that. Hey, you're never too old for Animal Crossing. Why Squishmallows? A Squishmallow Joey is like a really squishy plushy. Um, it's like really, really soft and uh, they're usually shaped like animals. Uh, we had some ones at Costco that were like baby Yodas and they were the most insanely popular Squishmallows I think we've ever had. Like they were constantly getting sold out and stuff. Everyone wanted the baby Yoda Squishmallow. I've been sorting out my clothes into my wardrobe, and it's been a nightmare. Need to adopt a minimalist lifestyle. <laughs> ah, well, the, the minimalist lifestyle just isn't for us, Sim. It's just not for us. <laughs> we need all our stuff, Sim. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leah. I'm glad you like the, the house landscaping. Um, I'm a little intimidated by the part that I'm tackling right now, so thank you so much for 
A little confidence boost. Oh my god, I just passed a model of this butterfly and then now like I see one right here. Uh, that was kind of cute the way it's like this model like manifested the other one. You know, I love the idea of using some, um, I love the idea of using some butterfly models around this house, but the other part of me is like, well, they don't look very life-sized or very realistic. Like, they look too big to be stand-ins for real butterflies sometimes. You know, like, this one's just massive. So I don't know whether to use them for the garden or not, since I'm going for such a realistic feel. Oh, and look, Kiki wants to talk to us. What do you want to talk about, Kiki? You're more... S <clears throat> Excuse me, I hate when I like talk and I sound like a zombie because like I have something in my throat or something. Sorry about that. Awkward. But Kiki needs our help. She's more skilled or we're more skilled than she is. So she needs help catching a sea bass, y'all. Uh, Kiki... Kiki doesn't have the fishing skills for a sea bass, so she wants our... She wants to recruit us to catch it for her. What do you all think? Do you think, you know, Kiki just can't handle this and we gotta help her out? Or do you think we should tell her to catch her own sea bass? Because they're everywhere. I, I don't really want to screw up her house, if I'm being honest. That's, that's what I'm leaning towards. I don't want to screw up her house. Oh, and hi, Angie. Welcome back. Um, we're kind of working on the garden for my house at the moment and trying to plant the trees and flowers and stuff. I want the Baby Yoda Squishmallow so bad, but the only way to get one in the UK is to import it. Oh, I hope you can get one, Robin. I know how, many, how much she loved the Mandalorian. Oh my gosh, you have nine, Katie? Wow. That's a, that's a lot of Squishmallows, excuse me. Stuffed animals are the best regardless of age. Yeah, I have a fair amount of Animal Crossing plushies. They're just for decoration though. Starting up my game for the first time in months to put in the rose mosaics. I wonder what state my island will be in. Oh, I hope you like them, Leah. If you have any questions on... If you have any questions on, like, uh, what the different colors of the rose mosaics, rose mosaics are, feel free to let me know. Um, I have one version of the rose mosaic that's sort of brown and gray, um, and I like that one the best, but I also have ones that are meant to go on top of terracotta and stone, and so yeah, it's like a whole range, a whole selection. And uh, I hope you have fun booting up your island for the first time in a while, I hope it's nice. You have a seal named Lucille, oh my gosh, that's adorable, Ginger, that's precious. They're worth it if you like stuffed animals and you can't, and, and if you can get small ones. Oh yeah, they do have the small Squishmallows. I've actually, um, I've bought some small Squishmallows for my brother and his kids. Um, I hope they like them. <laughs> I haven't really like, um, checked up on that to see if they like them or not. But that, yeah, one year for Christmas I gave my brothers, um, some Squishmallows for their kids. They were like little tiny ones. All right, what should I do right here? Ooh, I got an idea. What if I do one of my famous hedge and cypress pl plant combos to go in front of the tree? Ah, I'm feeling it, let's do it. I get so excited about the smallest things. <laughs> Kiki wants to see if you can help her. I like the way that I made a big deal out of like, ah, oh, should I help her? And then I kind of just was like, you know what? No. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. I I feel bad about it, but the way the game um, screws up their homes if you help them too much, it sort of makes me want to keep their homes looking pretty. The Rosaics, yeah. I've uh, shared about those um, and me working on them with the community and stuff. Oh, and Lisa, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Vixby. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for that support. 
I really appreciate you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing the love and the emotes. And uh, welcome to the Force Fam, Vixby. Oh, that's so wholesome. Oh, and hi, Holly. Welcome in. How are you today? I hope you're having a nice start to your week. What do we think of the... What do we think of the... Windflower. I am kind of not feeling it. More importantly, what do we think of the yellow rose? Are you feeling the yellow rose? Oh, you know what would be a good idea? I think a garden lantern. Ah, yes. Forget the forget the red flower. Let's do a garden lantern. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well too. I'm a little bit, like, uncomfortably hot right now. Like, what happened to winter? I'm, like, burning up over here. But other than that, I'm doing really well. Oh, you love the emotes? That makes me happy. Um, I kind of figured out how to maybe set up BTTV for some more emotes. So that would be exciting. And um, as far as even more emotes go, I mean, I haven't lost hope. Like, I feel like... Um, at times I've seen enough growth in the channel to where maybe, maybe the channel could hit a uh, partner one day. Possibly. We'll see if it, if it ever happens. But that would also give us uh, more emotes if we hit that. Um, but BTTV would give us more as well. And I've been looking into that. Alright, let me um, put my little garden lantern here. Oh, and hi Jay Peach. Welcome in. My island's called Bywater. Um, it's a Shire themed town and um, in the Shire and the Lord of the Rings there's like this village called Bywater um, so it's kind of named after a real location in the Lord of the Rings but if you google Bywater um, I think there's actually real towns in the US called this too in fact I googled this once and I think I found like some towns in New Orleans and stuff so uh yeah, Bywater is a, is a real life location name too. All right, let's do this garden lantern. Where did it go? Did I never have one? <laughs> I'm like looking for a garden lantern I don't have. Uh, let's go and get one. Yeah, I'm liking how this is looking, I think. I like this little garden for my mailbox, even though it's a little impractical. Um, I do like the garden for the mailbox. Think red cosmos might look better. Oh, thanks for the tip, Lisa. And uh, welcome in, Jay Peach. I'm late to this convo because I'm making dinner, but I've been wanting a particular owl squishmallow for obvious reasons. Oh yeah, it's your username, it's Mighty Owl. Does it work like once a model is gone, it's gone forever? Um, I actually don't know that. Um, I don't know if they're discontinued or not. The Squishmallow, I the Squishmallow I would probably be most interested in is some form of like cat one. Let's get a few more while we're at it. Um, I don't want to be stingy with the amount of garden lanterns I I take out. You know, let's just get a, a whole bunch of them. Oh, and hi, Angie Daisies. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. I feel like the color of your username is really unique and a very, like, pale color. I like it. Isabel didn't even acknowledge my long absence in her announcement. Yeah, along, I guess, with a lot of aspects of her announcement, you know? Like, sh her announcements really don't have a lot of variation to them. They're either, like, rambles or meteor showers or villagers like that's about it <laughs> there's not not a whole lot of variation to them i think some talk about the weather some talk if you like took a hiatus from the game that would all be very welcome ah so katie has the answer uh, they typically discontinue Squishmallows, but bring them out in different styles or colors if they're popular. 
Yeah, so I hope the owl one is popular for you, uh, Mighty Owl. Ooh, I like that a lot. Now it's just the question of what to do for the other side. And I think overall, even though I used to get bummed out about these two fencings being lined up, I feel like I'm... It's bothering me less now. Like, I feel like I don't have a problem with it anymore. So that's good. And now, um... I could be, like, a little bit asymmetrical, and instead of a flower going right there, I could go with, like, a bush. I will say one of my pet peeves that I constantly run into with this town is that I've never really felt like red and pink go super well together. It's not like they go terribly together, but they, they don't really go well enough to always make me want to pair the bushes next to each other. So, like, I didn't like the look of the pink one just then because it was like, oof, doesn't really match. Uh, so maybe like a red one instead. Do I have a red one? Nah, let's go get a red one. Polita the tabby cat is cute. Oh, are we, t are we still talking about uh, squished mallows? They can be really expensive. People wrap rack up the prices since they sell out so quickly. Oh, good luck nabbing your favorites, y'all. One hour in and I'm realizing the demolition is gonna take a long time. Yeah. Bulldozing, um, it, it actually doesn't take super long if you have like a blank island, like a brand new one straight from the beginning of the game. But if you have any sort of like development and detail into your town, it can really take quite a bit of time and be quite the project. Best of luck, Joey. Settle in with a... Uh, the expectation you'll be at it for a while. A bush or weeds? Oh, thank you for the tip, pasta. Yeah, I do love weeds, but I actually kind of feel like if there's one area to maybe not go for the weeds life hack, um, it's probably Bilbo's garden. I feel like he would pluck his weeds. Or get Sam to do it for him. <laughs> Sam is actually the gardener. Um, Alright, so let's try the red bush here. Um, actually, like, I just don't like how it looks next to the hedge overall, I guess. So let's just do a flower. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you've been a little down today, Lenore. All the hugs to you. I hope you feel better and... I'm glad your cat is still doing well, even though, uh, for now, he's at the vet. What are, what are the... what's the gender of your cat? So I can, um, <laughs> make sure I'm saying the right thing. But I'm glad to hear your cat's doing well, and I hope you feel better, Lenore. Feel free to do whatever you need to do for self-care and taking care of yourself. Uh, let's grab some stuff over here for inspiration, see if any of this catches my eye. And uh, I'm also going to take a look at flowers I could use, too. Um, uh, Lisa suggested a red Cosmo. Should we do a red Cosmo? Oh, no! <laughs> Not the pockets. Um, what do I drop? I guess um, I can drop some of my furniture for now and just, like, go to it later. <laughs> temporary solution here. I've given myself until the end of winter to finish the bulldoze, start to rebuild once my island is green again. Oh, okay. That'll be nice. Spring cleaning, spring new beginnings, whatever you want to call it. Starting fresh in the springtime. I hope it works well with your timeline, Joey. Good luck. Ghibli music is so calming. Yeah, I love it too. Hate to go back to it so soon, but um, when streams last a few hours, sometimes the playlist on YouTube goes by pretty quick. Alright, do you all like the Red Cosmo? Or I guess my other thing, my other possibility, 
So I could try to introduce a different color like orange that is a little bit underrepresented. Try orange. What sort of orange flower would be good? <laughs> orange rose? Uh, that would be like a, another rose though. Hopefully it won't look too symmetrical and matchy-matchy. Maybe an orange Cosmo? Oh, that's a good idea. I might have a few of those on the beach. Maybe we could take a little journey down over to the beach and see if we find any. And I'm actually thinking I might take a break in a minute just to get like a cold beverage. I've continued to be like really hot this stream, so <laughs> I kind of want to cool myself down. I'm starting to get like hot temperature wise to the point that like it's distracting me a little, making me uncomfortable, so. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, let me ask what the temperature is real quick. Alexa, what's the temperature? It's uh, 44 degrees outside. <laughs> Shivi, you're so funny. I knew I would sound weird saying that, so I had to clarify temperature-wise. Um, and I, I'm not seeing many orange cosmos down here. Dang it. I did find the bottle mail though. Sometimes I get kind of like I run low on certain flowers and I need to like replenish them. I'm sure I could probably steal an orange Cosmo from somewhere else if I needed to. Oh and hi Bones, hi Kiki. My cat is a boy, his name is Java. Oh okay, I'm glad to know that now Lenore. What a sweet name for a kitty. Oh my gosh, created a maze for myself. <laughs> Orange hyacinth, you think? Now that I might have. Oh, and hi, Jules. It's great to see you. I hope you're doing well today, Jules. Saw you playing uh, Just Dance the other day. Are you having lots of fun with uh, Just Dance? Yeah, sorry about that, Rustic Geek. <laughs> ah, the kettle bathtub, nice. I don't know if I see myself using that in this island, unless I want to make like a Gandalf room. And I feel like even though Gandalf is a wizard, he doesn't seem like the potion brewing sort of wizard, does he? I don't know, I can't imagine Gandalf brew brewing some potions. <laughs> I don't know. Um... He pretty much just like does stuff with his staff, right? Ooh, I like the I like the orange Cosmo. I might, you know, try the orange Cosmo later and basically just see that particular flower as something to switch out, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this for now, just for simplicity and moving on. Sometimes you just wanna be like, alright, that looks good, and move on. And maybe the orange, ooh, yay, we're making it more colorful. I feel like that yellow bush looks good there now because the orange helps lead up into it. And maybe we can do another cypress plant back here. None of my villagers moved out. Oh, that's good, Aaliyah. Uh, this game is actually a little bit OP when it comes to taking hiatuses and taking breaks. Um, like, it, it tends to not really be an issue in that way. You can take as long as a break of, as you want, and you might have a few more weeds, but it's pretty low maintenance in that way. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> no, that's okay. I just, um... I was, like, playing on one of my less common switches that I don't have as many friends on, but I think I'm friends with you on it, and I saw you were online. <laughs> um... Are you all okay with the cypress plant right here? Or maybe like I'll leave that question to you to ponder while I maybe go and get that cold drink. Cause like, I guess what bugs me is that the pot does end up being super visible. Uh, the hedge is not really hiding it from most of the angles that you see it at. So I think with that knowledge, I probably will do something other than a cypress plant, but let me, um, go and cool myself down a little and then I'll come back 
So I'm just gonna go on a quick break and be back in a minute or so. Um, I'm, I'm also wearing like fuzzy pants right now. So that is also something that I could <laughs> change about my wardrobe to be less hot. Get out of these fuzzy pants. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching so far. Peep at the kitties behind me and I'll see you at the end of my break. All right, BRB. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I went ahead and time traveled while I was drinking my cold beverage because it was starting to get kind of dark. I guess the darkness worked well with those garden lanterns that we were experimenting with, but now that it's lighter, I'll be able to sort of see what I'm doing more. And uh, let's get a little bit of Lord of the Rings up in here. Um, I have something on my playlist that's like uh, concerning hobbits, but like a piano cover. Uh, so let me see if I can get that going. I feel like that, that would be cute. Alright. Saw it just a second ago. <laughs> oh, here it is. So I hope you all enjoy that. 
And uh, what did you all think of the cypress plant? Um, I guess it's weighing the value of seeing that cypress plant there, which I do feel like it adds something to have that like high plant versus, I guess, you know, being bothered by seeing the pot. It's like weighing the pros and cons of that. I guess we could see if uh, other cute stuff could be arranged besides cypress plants. Like, um, we could try... I mean, we could even maybe do a tree glitch right here. Uh, oh, but it would be right in front of the door. That would probably, like, block the house too much. I guess overall, maybe I'm leaning towards the fact that the cypress plant, the, the pros outweigh the cons, and we should just go with it. Because <laughs> I feel like um, the height just really adds something right there. And uh, you've been villager hunting all day, Jack? Uh, well, you deserve a break from villager hunting if you if you need one. I know it can wear me out myself. When I did my sherb hunt and I had to like hunt for hours and just uh, boarding that plane over and over, it kind of drove me crazy too. I don't really greatly enjoy villager hunting. I know some people kind of get a thrill out of it, but uh, definitely take a break if you need to. Dancing your heart out, Jules. Do you have like a favorite song on Just Dance that you like to jam out to? I actually own Just Dance and funnily enough, I even have it handy. It's like right here is my little Just Dance cartridge. <laughs> Aren't the cartridges for the Switch like so small? Uh, they're so small. You like the layering moth? Oh, I'm glad you like it. Seems like a good opportunity to order some Thai food. Or Thai food, is that how you say it? <laughs> Sounds good, Jefferson. Eating Cheez-Its with plain cream cheese. Wow! <laughs> Cheez-Its with cream cheese? I've never heard of that before. It actually sounds good, though. <laughs> I'm such an uncultured person for having not heard of this. All right, I'm curious. I don't know where to go from here. Everything feels very crucial now that I'm getting close to the house. I don't know if you all feel this, but... I usually give a lot of importance to the areas around homes and stuff, so now that I'm like over here, I'm like, oh no, what do I do? And I guess the concerning hobbits just ended, and right now it's starting to play an Eterna Forest remix, which is one of my favorite Pokemon songs, but after that we'll probably go back to the Ghibli. I think Concerning Hobbits is my favorite Lord of the Rings track. Oh, really? I like it a lot. It's very jaunty and cute. It really suits the Hobbits well, but that's a good question about like what my favorite Lord of the Rings music might be. I mean, the Rivendell one is very ethereal. I also um, find that scene where the Ents get really inspired to like go marching and it's uh, that really like sweeping track. I also find that one really good too. I rewatched the prank interview with Dom and Elijah. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm glad that you know that, Katie. They're such dorks. For anyone who doesn't know, Elijah Wood is the one who plays Frodo. And um, Dominic Monahan is the one that plays uh, like Pippin or something or Mary. And uh, they got up to a lot of shenanigans when they were filming and became good friends. And uh, they did this prank interview with Elijah Wood. And Elijah went like most of the whole interview like not knowing. He was totally oblivious and it was glorious. It was so funny. Um, oh my god. It's, it's a little inappropriate too at times. <laughs> um, do I have some street lights? Maybe the street lights would look cute. Or should I just stick to garden lanterns rather than street lights? I love baby corns and Thai food and also love cosmos. They're a very simple flower. 
Yeah, I like Cosmos too. They're like daisies. I am feeling a little bit... Oh, something else I just remembered. Um, I think I'm gonna have a lot of these patterns like bordering the path. So it's like my path will be cobblestone and then eventually um, bordering the cobblestone will be like flowery patterns. So I need to remember to scatter these around too. Maybe just like lots of flowers and bushes uh, over here and fencing. So I'm gonna go get some more bushes perhaps. Some more flowers. Partner is making us some dinner right now because I've been struggling mentally today. Oh, big hug to you. I hope you feel better. Um, I hope the rest of your day and your partner helping out with dinner helps boost your mood and make tomorrow a better one. I've been villager hunting for the past few days. I'm not even looking for anyone in particular. I just keep getting tired of it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely get tired of it as well, Sock. Um, I hope you find someone you like soon though. Um, and also maybe keep an eye out for villager trading. I don't know if you get up into that, but maybe that could help save you from having to find them via hunt if you can sort of trade for them. Discovered it last night. Oh, the ch the cream cheese cheese its combo. That's so funny. My head is empty. I scroll through Avatar or play Stardew. Um, I guess they both sound good. If you want to get a, some cozy Stardew, though, that sounds pretty good. My marriage in Stardew is the extent of my love life right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit annoyed by my flower selection. I think this is something I gotta do off screen is like, give me some more flowers. <laughs> this was my little like flower storage area and it's just not cutting it. I'm not finding the right sorts of flowers that inspire me down here. <laughs> uh. When will you wear wigs? Oh, what does that question mean, Katie? What do you mean? I wear wigs all the time. <laughs> the Aragorn and Arwen love theme by Inya always gets me in the feels. Ah, oh, yeah. Inya does uh, a lot of great work with the uh, Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Um, I think someone else that I know also uh, participates in the soundtrack. Um, I grew up when I was like in high school liking this group called like the Cocteau Twins. Uh, I don't really know how to say their name because I always just read it, but I think there's this uh, person named Elizabeth Fraser from them, and uh, I think they help the Lord of the Rings soundtrack out sometimes with uh, her vocals as well. That video is hilarious. I know, I love it so good. The Lord of the Rings cast is so charming, aren't they? Ooh, I like the yellow Cosmo. The yellow Cosmo makes me happy. It looks so good there. Alright, let's go back to the Ghibli. I hope you all enjoyed the little trip to Eterna Forest, though. <laughs> Oh, it's from the interview. Oh, yeah. I remember now, Katie. Maybe it's just because I wear wigs too much that I didn't immediately interpret that uh, that question as being from that from that video. But yeah, I know there's that moment where he's like, when will you wear wigs? And Frodo, uh, Elijah Wood just starts cracking up. It's so funny. Uh, maybe this would be another good opportunity for just another flower. How about an orange one to sort of 
go with the walls and we can always change it later but oh that's looking very cozy oh i'm happy very happy this looks like another good spot for another bush or a hedge or something like that i guess we could just spam these red camellias huh we could just spam those oh i don't know if i like how that looks though Let's have this be a non-blooming bush. Oh, you like the Cocteau Twins two crystal mazes? Yeah, I actually haven't listened to them a lot lately, but I, I used to listen to them a lot in high school. Oh, and hi, Masella. I hope you're having a great Monday too. How is your week starting off, Masella? Great to see you and have you here. Um, we've been working on some uh, cozy landscaping around bag end it's looking more and more filled out i worry it might look a little too cluttered though that might be something i have to assess later like is this too cluttered or is this the right sort of amount of gardening i'll have to figure that out i do have that issue sometimes where i make it too cluttered that's like a danger that i have when it comes to decorating as i keep adding more and more stuff so it is a danger do I make a dark wintry graveyard or stick with an ice fishing idea? I think that ice fishing idea is really creative. I would really like to see that, but you can always make both and sort of see which one like comes out better. Okay, and this is the fourth tier. So if I end up landscaping this, I'm gonna have to do fourth tier shenanigans. <laughs> so that'll be fun. We better start though, because that's one of the next steps is to landscape up there. We better start doing it. Oh, I keep forgetting I can't just go up there. I gotta like glitch up there. What am I doing? Elizabeth sung the vocals on Massive Attack's Teardrop. Oh, really? So, um, yeah, she has a really pretty voice. Lisa Gerard is another great singer, too. I feel like that name rings a bell. Uh, is she part of a group or is she more of like a solo sing a singer? Elizabeth was also Jeff Buckley's girlfriend. Really? Jeff Buckley did a really, um... I'm actually not a massive Jeff Buckley fan. He's okay, but um, he did a really famous cover of Hallelujah, and that's the cover that like everyone loves. Um, you know that song that goes Hallelujah, Hallelujah. <laughs> I suck at singing. I can't sing. Okay, but um, he that's that's the one uh, that everyone likes the best. I think is his cover. Are there harps in the Shire? No, not really, Mighty Owl. They're too fan- the Harps are too fancy for hobbits. Um, maybe a country guitar or two? But I actually don't hear the hobbits talk a lot about, you know, jamming out on instruments. They're always just singing. The hobbits do sing a lot, but I don't hear them, like, talk about instruments a lot. Ooh, wow, we did just get up here in one try, yeah hype for that but what do I do now that I'm up here <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just sort of plan out where I want my trees and try to come on character I guess oh okay maybe I can do it right there I'm right here I'm right here <laughs> just get like a really greedy uh, how about um, on the end I do it like right there so I guess that's my game plan for trees and we'll see how it turns out we'll see how it vibes uh, I don't even really have a whole lot of trees though I gotta fix that Just finished dinner and getting mentally ready to go grocery shopping. Oh no, you can do it, Masala. You got this. 
Oh, and uh, enjoy getting cozy for bed, Shivi. Thank you for the good wishes on my villager hunt. I just found Nan. Oh, nice. Enjoy, Sock. I like Nan a lot, too. Are you going to get the trio or the duo? What am I talking about, trio? Are you going to get the duo of both Nan and Chevra? And hi, Sleepy Tabby. Welcome in. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, it's great to have you here. She's in Dead Can Dance. Oh my god, y'all are taking me back. We got some people in here that... that know. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dead Can Dance isn't one of my tip-top favorites either, but, um... Some of it gets a little bit too... too out there for me, but I definitely know them. <laughs> I didn't really know she did the vocals for them too. I thought that was someone else. <laughs> Perfect rendition. Oh, you liked my hallelujah, Simi? <laughs> you're probably cringing because you're uh, you're a good singer, aren't you, Simi? You inspire me so much in Animal Crossing. Oh, thank you, Joey. That makes me happy. Uh, that is really, really sweet of you to say. Thank you so much. And I was about to just glitch up here with no trees, so, you know, we caught ourselves. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I, I didn't do that because I was about to glitch up there without having any trees in my pockets. Let's go and get some. There's some fiddle playing at Bilbo's party. Ah, what is a fiddle um, most like an Animal Crossing? Is it most like a violin or is it most like the pan flute? I want to put them on their own little cliff. Oh, Nan and Chevra, that'll be adorable. You got to give them like matching outfits too. I have Nan and boy, I have Nan and my boyfriend has Chevra. Oh, that's, that's adorable. If only they could like visit, um, like villagers could visit other towns. My mom used to play a dead can dance all the time. Really? Doesn't seem like a very coverable band. A fiddle and violin are the same instrument, just play differently. Oh, okay, maybe I can have a violin over by that um, party area. That's something I can do. I like the way Murphy's saying my name, but he's like not looking at me. <laughs> it's like, hey Rose, come over here. Okay. Hi, Murphy. Could you use this old fishing waders? Ah, oh, so you're just trying to give your unwanted junk to me. I see how it is. Thanks, Murphy. <laughs> what is this, anyway? Fishing waders. Ah, oh, this is ugly. <laughs> Get this out of here. I've never seen this item before. I've never seen this like up my ables or whatever. All right. Well, <laughs> that's what I think of that, Murphy. Didn't Lisa Gerard do some vocals on the Gladiator soundtrack and a number of other Hans Zimmer compositions for film? Oh, I don't know that, Sim. <laughs> I feel like soundtracks would be a really nice like additional sort of music genre to look into though uh, music made for film oh and have a wonderful night joey thank you again for the kind words just now really made me smile have a wonderful night and good luck bull bulldozing your island hope it goes as well as possible joey oh and hi yuki how are you today it's great to see you what have you been up to i guess should we see what uh this fellow has for sale. I feel like I've been ignoring him. Oh, I have these shoes over in Athalia. I really do like these uh, blue embroidered shoes. Um, why do we have bat wings right now? I will pick up the yellow slippers though. Those look kind of cute. You're attempting to work, but it's not going heaps well. Oh, you got this, Sim. 
right, so we've got a few trees now. Looking forward to see how they look up on the fourth tier. Hopefully it'll be just as easy to glitch up there. I will say, I think something I'm finding, there's always a temptation on my part to like go wild with furniture placement, but I feel like this area might be like a little on the busy side. I actually look forward to at some point, I think I'm gonna pick up some of those like cypress plants and bushes and maybe go for something more minimalist and trying it out and see if it looks better. I think it looks pretty busy right there. I need to realize that empty space can sometimes be just what an area needs. Like, not everything has to be filled up and have something on it. Oh, and hi, Therapy. Welcome in. How are you tonight? Great to see you. I hope school's going well. Uh, we're working on some gardening at the moment gonna see how these uh, teenager trees look up on the fourth tier. I'm trying to do smaller ones. Love me a good, um, love me a good baby tree. All right, so that looks pretty good, I think. Let's go down here to assess. Ah! I actually wouldn't mind something that looks a little bit more filled in. It looks very, like there's lots of holes in the sky over there. I think I'd like something a bit more filled in. So maybe we should plant some more. But let's see how the baby tree looks from the lookout point. I have this like lookout point over here. Um, Oh wow, I can't see the baby tree at all. <laughs> it's like not even in the shot. Um, I wonder if I should make that a bigger tree then. That's actually why I put a baby tree there. I thought that like it would block the view of the party tree if I put a big tree there. School is well school. Oh, well that's a mood. Um, but I hope you're doing as well with it as possible under the circumstances. Just relaxing in the cold weather. Uh, hopefully not too cold. I've been hearing a lot of people around Discord lately talk about like how cold it is and you know getting cozy up under blankets and stuff. Uh, hopefully spring will be here before we know it. All right so this one I think I definitely want to make or do I? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I definitely want to make this a bigger tree, and then now I'm like, uh, I don't know. But I know I definitely... Oh no, got too many pear trees in my pockets, darn it. Maybe I'll uh, put them up here for now, and then just try to remember to replace them later because for now they don't have pears on them. <laughs> so we're safe for now. And I also wouldn't mind having one like right here, I think, just to continue filling things out. But I'll have to do a tree glitch for that. Oh, what's up, Mercy? What happened? Alright, so there's the setup for the tree glitch, but first let me see how these look. Ah, it is looking more like filled in now, I think. That's a bit more of what I wanted it to look. I just want it to look like a row of green up there, almost like hugging the house. I think it'll look really cute to just have like lots of trees up here, hugging the scene, making it feel even more cozy. Yeah, maybe this tree will be like the last finishing touch that I need. That view? Oh, uh, were you talking about like the party tree view? Yeah, I really do like how the 
the party tree came out. It's not even totally done yet either. Like I kind of plan on um, adding like some pathing underneath just to sort of help um, add some dimension to the scene down below. Like I want there to be pathing down there. And I also want to add like lots of those like lovely weeds that I'm obsessed with, spring weeds. So I look forward to fine tuning that. But first, let's uh, glitch up here and plant one more tree. Or wait, uh, let's let's go and get some more trees first. And in fact, I might be starting to run out. I keep saying like, let's get more trees, let's get more trees. And I might just like run out at some point. There is this one. I can take this one probably. I hope it's not a pear tree though. Dang it. <laughs> if it's a pear tree, I'm gonna get so mad. What does the water around elevation do? Ah, oh, that's the setup for um, the tree glitch. Um, so you can have these trees that are on the edge of a cliff, um, which kind of breaks the end game rules a little, but since it is a glitch, it's essentially an exploit that requires a certain setup in order to perform it and to make it happen. And um, so that was just me setting up the glitch. I'd love to demonstrate it in just, a, just another minute. Oh, thank you for being here, Carrot. Wow, it is pretty late your time. Thank you so much for being here this long and sticking around. It was lovely having you here. And I hope you have a wonderful night, Carrot. Dang, all my villagers want to talk to me today. They're such chatterboxes. They're also very giving in, in kind of a way that I'm not entirely appreciative of because I already struggle with my pocket space a lot. <laughs> they keep giving me like random clothes. What is this marble print dress? Oof, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Do you all like this? I feel like it's supposed to be cute, but I just think it looks ugly. <laughs> I feel like I've like never seen any of these clothes before that they keep giving me. Like they never like pop up in Athalia. <laughs> They're so weird. Alright, so let's uh, steal a few more trees while we're at it. There's quite a few down here. Alright, and I feel like that should be pretty good. Should I steal a teenager tree for good measure, though? The weeds on spring are really pretty. Yeah, the problem with weeds is like sometimes it's one of the last things you do in a town because um, you can only have 150 of the tall weeds. And uh, so if you want to like make sure you get the most use out of the tall weeds, you have to kind of plan it all out and make it a whole to do to like plan where your weeds will go. So um, I haven't really reached that point in Bywater yet since it's such a new town. Um, I wonder if I could do a tree glitch over here too. Getting a little addicted to the tree glitch. I, I'll, I'll hold off on it for now. It's kind of cute therapy. <laughs> Meh, not a fan. Yeah, I definitely wasn't a fan. The dress has 2,000 so soap opera vibes. I know what you mean, it does feel like a little bit dated somehow, like it was something that would have been stylish a long time ago. <laughs> I've barely got 20 weeds. I guess you're on top of them. I know some people um, are a fan of the weeds and some aren't. I used to have someone in the community that would kind of um, joke with me about the weeds, like, they're not a valid decoration tool, Amy. <laughs> it was someone who was like a purist in the sense of, oh, they're weeds, so they can't, uh, help an area. They're inherently bad. 
but I've always felt, particularly in this game, since they gave the Wii designs so many cool little details, I think they're an awesome way to decorate an area. You can't put them up on the fourth tier, though. That's something about them. You, uh, they don't, they don't work on the fourth tier. Uh, let's try a red Cosmo. We're feeling the red Cosmos right now. Oh, and hi, Shaney. Oh, welcome in. Thank you so much for the kind words. I'm glad you like the music. Uh, we're experimenting with uh, gardening around Bag End. I'm actually kind of hyped about all the progress we've made. I feel like I've been very productive. Um, and let's try some more of like the hedges and bushes and all that good stuff. Alright, country fencing. That is next. Weeds are just for the campsite and the creepy research facility. Ah, oh, so you've got your places where you like your weeds at. Um, I haven't totally figured out where all mine are going to go, but I'm definitely going to make use out of all 150 of them, because I'm a fan. I like the weeds. And part of me is tempted to just, like, hop down and get just hop down again just to see how this is vibing. Like, I don't want to go too crazy doing too much landscaping and then, like, hate it. So I just want to hop down here and see how it looks. Um, I actually, I think I do like the way the red and the yellow complement the house. So I actually don't know if I want to make any changes. Do y'all think it looks good? Maybe I should try to bring in other colors though, like not just red and yellow. I should bring in some other colors. One thing I've thought about is purple, because purple and yellow are complementary colors, and uh, there's some purple in this garden wagon, so maybe if I get some purple. Like this uh, purple mum. Weeds are for everywhere. Yeah, when I first uh, got New Horizons, I was pretty silly about it. I didn't really realize... Um, I didn't know the weed rules, so I was like really concerned that that like every time you plucked a weed and replanted it, you couldn't get like the tall ones again. That was very concerning for me, so I had a rule that I was never going to pick any of the tall weeds. And then finally some of that info started to come out about them, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I can pluck them now. Um... Maybe I could get some of these flowers, too, and sort of put them up on the fourth tier as well. The purple mums are so pretty. Oh, you like them, Jules? My pockets are kind of making me emo right now. I think I gotta, I gotta do my own, like, acorns pocket redemption. Um, they're, like, really unwieldy right now, so I gotta do more than just a quick and easy fix of the pockets. I need to really pay attention to this. So the pink hyacinth has been sitting in my pockets forever. And in general, um, some of these flowers could prove useful. But I guess what I'm carrying around a lot of are just like random trees. <laughs> so let's plant these. Oh, that's a pear tree. Oh, Shaney with the Organize Your Pockets. Oh, thank you for making it official, Shaney. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta do that even when it's not a channel points redemption, though. <laughs> Oh no, nothing to plant in this area. It's because of these lovely weeds. 
Um, I'll just plant them over here then. Oh, and have a good time uh, grocery shopping, Masella. I know you were kind of like nervous about it, so uh, I hope it goes well. Keep your distance and uh, see you later or see you um, next time. And uh, I've seen a lot on Twitter lately, like on sort of my daily scrolls and stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of people start to talk about lately, like the talk of like, what is the ideal work week? And if we have like a system that doesn't like work well fundamentally for like what we can handle and what we can um, have like a good work and life balance with. A lot of people think that the five day work week and two day weekends just isn't enough. And that it should be like four days versus like three weekends. Uh, what do you all think of that and how uh, likely do you think that that'll actually like come to fruition one day? Do you think that there's a chance? I guess I personally feel like society might be moving in that direction, especially as more and more things get automated. There might come an awkward time in the, in the future where the work system might have to change a lot, but um, we're not here yet and I'm a little bit bitter about it. Like I feel like we're, we're probably going to make that change at one point as a society, but today is not that day, as Aragorn says. I have so many I have so many channel points and never use them. Yeah. I thought about adding a few more uh, before stream, but then I started running a little bit behind. So I had to like quickly just be like, oh, oh, well, better just start. But maybe I can add some more next time. Okay, so now that the trees are mostly out of my pockets, maybe the rest can stay because the rest is like stuff like hedges and fencing and bushes and plants. Now, there are a few more trees though. Got your workout down and feel better. Oh, nice, Lenore. What do you do for a workout? Oh, that's what Jules asked. We're both being uh, nosy about your workout. <laughs> it should be that way. Not in my field, though, unfortunately. Oh, you mean about the work week thing that I was talking about, Angie? I know, like, Microsoft, I think, or, or someone started to make that change for their employees, but it's definitely not across the board. Alright, so I'm gonna get a few more flowers before I glitch up there. I think we'll get there eventually, but considering how long it took union organizers to get an eight-hour workday, it'll probably take a while. Yeah, it's sort of how I feel about universal healthcare in the US. Like, I sort of feel like we'll, we'll get there eventually. And um, I feel like we just gotta get around like all the stigma and all the, you know, issues uh, people have with it and try to get them to think in a different way about it. And then I think it'll happen eventually. But it's just, uh, sometimes I get a little impatient for that to already just happen now. How about some of these down on the uh, down on the beach? You're decorating your museum right now, Mercy. Oh, I'm glad that you're loving it. I feel a similar way about the progress I've made today. It might not be like mind blowing, but I feel like I've made some solid progress on this garden. Oh, I see a funny commercial, Loki. Maybe it's like leftover from the Super Bowl. Exactly. Technology has advanced so much that we need to discuss a new work week. We have become more efficient compared to when the five-day work week was created. Oh yeah, that's totally true, Starfruit. Um, productivity. Oh, you play Ring Fit? I know a lot of people do that. It's a good workout when, um, since going to the gyms aren't safe. 
I'm glad you have that, Lenore. All right, well, I guess let's go up here and start experimenting with things again, like placing flowers and bushes, trying things out. The Alexa commercial was hilarious. Oh, what was the Alexa commercial? Sometimes when I think of commercials and Alexa, I think of that one time uh, Bethesda had like a big conference and one of their announcements was like, oh, you can play Skyrim on Alexa now. And I was like, what? Is that is that really a real thing? Can you really do that? So easy to get burnt out on five days being dedicated to work. I know I have about a half a day of week of not being very productive. Yeah, I, I really hope we can get there. I always consider myself as being productive because breathing produces CO2 for my house plants. Oh, that's a nice way to think of it. Just always being productive. Um, I see all this self-care type stuff on social media like, well, even resting can be productive. And it's like, uh, well, I know, technically, but it doesn't feel productive. <laughs> so I never feel productive if I haven't really done enough stuff, but... Oh, and enjoy your shower! Uh, thanks for being here, uh, Jules, and enjoy your, enjoy your lurk and your shower. They've done studies that show a four-day work week is better for work-life balance, and as a result, mental health has improved. Yeah, and even things like I think it makes you have a better morale at work and might help you work harder when you are there because you're like less burned out, like we've been saying. So maybe this is where I could slide in a white Cosmo. And then how about a purple Cosmo like hiding behind a tree so that you see it from some angles but not from other angles. The perfect little pop of purple. Alright, what else do I do? Oh yeah, was I gonna make this like a fully grown tree? Oh, I don't have any trees in my pockets anyways, so that thought will have to wait. Yeah, true Sim, it's a bummer. Perfect pop of purple. <laughs> Yeah, that can be a sneaky way to do it sometimes. Like, I might do something similar over here. Uh, like, behind a tree, like, you see it from some angles, but from other angles you don't. Sometimes that's perfect and just what you need. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Nimli. Yeah, I was pretty proud of the party tree and how it came out. It's a really nice area. Can I plant a bush here effectively? Oh! Oh my god! I was not expecting that! I was like, what? It actually worked! Now I, like, don't like it. Alright, well we did it. Go us! Um, how about red? Eh, too much red. Maybe just a regular bush? Or maybe just no bush because I'm not feeling it? <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Oh my gosh, you're gonna make me pluck this red Cosmo. Oh! <laughs> When Animal Crossing becomes a platformer. <laughs> I 
I'm done. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> oh god, I... <laughs> New Horizons Ninja Warrior. <laughs> That's totally what it is, though. <laughs> I'm just trying to kick this hole. That's all I'm trying to do. Um, Alright, fine game. Um... Can we see a flower going here? Because that would be one way to make the game happy. Be to plant a flower here. Um, so what we just plucked is a red Cosmo. Red Cosmo. Uh, how about the orange rose? Alright. Game. Are you happy now? But, you know... I guess I don't like the symmetrical country fencing. Uh, I'm not really vibing with the symmetrical country fencing, so... Maybe I should change one of those to something else, and then I'll have to pluck the orange rose in order to do that, because <laughs> this game loves to torture us. So let's try the same bush thing back here. Maybe it'll look better to have a bush back there with a flower in front of it. Alright, we got it. Animal Crossing Ninja Warrior uh, completed. Perhaps. We'll see. Now, like, all my flowers are plucked, so I can't even tell, like, what I had. I'll just have to remember what I had. <laughs> oh, and Jefferson, thank you for the hundred biddies for our, um, New Horizons Ninja Warrior. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Yeah, that was a rude Cosmo nimbly. <laughs> Gotta reset the island. I know. Uh, I remember um, someone from the community said that when I had to like move everything down a space like um, I had this village built twice essentially because to make room for the party tree to go back there I had to move everything down a few spaces and uh, I think it was winter winter was like if I was you I would have just reset like I would have been so upset uh. all right so how's it looking well, like I said before, you can barely even see how it's looking now because of all the plucking that we did. Can I ask your opinion? Did you all like the fence better there or did you like the, the bush? Uh, which one do you like better? Do you think it actually looked good to have the fence where the bush is? Uh, let me know if you preferred, if you preferred the fence. pick up the tree for a minute. Oh, okay. That was a good idea, Fox. I'm sorry I can be a little bit of a dum-dum sometimes. You know, I'm just not good at when Animal Crossing becomes a platformer. It's not my skill set. I had a moment like that. I was pushing termite mounds around trees on the third tier, and I felt like I was playing the ice block puzzle from Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's great. Maybe put the yellow mums behind the country fence. Ooh, I gotta go see the suggestion. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Because they're kind of blocking the country fence anyways. Ah, okay. We are gonna try Moth's suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion, Moth. <laughs> you stand by what you said, Winter. So you like the bush, Nimly, but you vote Fence, Mercy. Um, yeah, I can see how both could work, especially once the area is all filled in. I'm going to try what Moth suggested. Hopefully have fewer issues this time. Oh, and hi, Kelsey. Welcome in. You're new to the Switch and played Animal Crossing on the GameCube a long time ago. Wow, so you're really coming uh, back to the series after a long hiatus. I uh, can't wait to maybe hear what you think of it when you get it. It's so different now from the GameCube. Um, should I get a light or a standard Switch? Um, it depends on what you want and the pros and cons. Just a quick little pros and cons list is that um, the Switch Lite is cheaper if you're on a budget. And I think the battery life for the Switch Lite is 
better, so it's more adapted towards mobile gaming. I actually think if I was not a streamer, I would really, really vibe with the Switch Lite because I really like playing portably. Whenever I'm not playing um, on stream, I'm pretty much always playing portably. Um, so the Switch Lite works great if you're just going to play it portably all the time anyways. And it's cheaper, but if you want to ever capture your gameplay, you do have to have a, a docked switch, like a full switch, because uh, that's what allows you to stream it and capture via the Elgato. But if that's not uh, something you're going to do at all, then uh, maybe the switch light is for you. And also, uh, if you're like a play on the TV sort of person, where you like playing on the TV, like back in the day on the GameCube, then that might also be something for getting a full-fledged switch. All right, so we're trying the yellow mum behind the country fence. Yay, I think it looks cute. I like it. I can barely even remember what this flower is. <laughs> So maybe now we can do the country fence over here and it won't like look symmetrical anymore. And then like this orange flower can go in front. Yeah. We'll see how it we'll see how it continues to vibe. I personally only got the light for Animal Crossing. Don't play any other games. Oh yeah, I guess that's something to consider as well. Um, like maybe if your budget is smaller because you mostly just want to play Animal Crossing. Oh, and thank you Mighty L. Thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night Mighty L. Thank you so much for being here. It was nice to catch up with you again. And I'm sorry, by the way, if a uh, stream's been a little bit all over the place, or if um, possibly this project, uh, I'm not sure if this project is quite as fun as this one was, the stream before. This one was so nice to work on and put this little area together, but the area over by Bag End is like a little bit more complicated than this one, so I feel like this one was funner to just bang out, and then... The bag and garden is just bigger and more sweeping, so it requires a lot more like trial and error. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Thanks for taking my advice. Oh, thank you for suggesting it and feel free to, you know, if you all wanna let me know how you all like it. Um, it's hard to tell though without the, with the flowers being plucked and all, it's hard to tell. I love my Switch and I adore playing everything on it, from New Horizons to Doom to Gris to Mario Kart to Skyrim. Oh nice, that's such a good recommendation, a good shout out for the Switch, like as a service. Oh, thank you, Moth. I have both and I love my Switch Lite, but both are great. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong as well, but does the Switch Lite also not have quite the same amount of issues with, like, Joy-Con issues? Like, am I making that up? I feel like possibly there aren't quite as many issues there because the Switch Lite just has its own controls and doesn't have Joy-Cons, right? So that might also be a plus as well. Uh, there's a lot of issues with Joy-Cons and Joy-Con dr drift and all that stuff. I feel like I just don't have a whole lot of flower co uh, flower um, variety and it's kind of throwing me off. Like I only have red and yellow flowers and I don't exactly want to just spam those everywhere. So um, I feel like I might want to come back to this area when I have more flowers, you know what I'm saying?
but yeah, let's just do a pattern up on top of here to like border where the party tree is. Just trying to look at everything so far and I think I will leave some of this stuff blank just in the interest of like my flower variety is lacking right now so I'm gonna fine-tune that when I have more flowers at my disposal but oh it looks so like country and cozy I think it looks okay uh, let's clean up some of this uh, fourth tier glitch action or tree glitch action whatever sort of glitch it is let's clean this up make it look more neat and clean You don't have to worry about the Joy-Con issues, you're right. Oh, thank you. Thanks for confirming that for me. I got the Switch before the light came out, but I would have gotten the light anyways, because it just seems easier, if that makes sense. Yeah, I like the lights a lot. <laughs> I would totally enjoy it if um, I didn't have to get the full Switch as a streamer. I almost, like, I pretty much never play on the TV at all. Like, I either play it on my computer, like with my Elgato, or I play it mobile. I never play it on the TV. I actually don't like the way my TV makes New Horizons look, which is maybe my own problem. All right, so let's work on the lead up to the overlook now. So I might want to actually clean some of this junk up now. The Switch's left joystick has had a history of drifting, but not as much issues as Joy-Cons. Oh, bummer. So even the Switch Lite isn't home free. Does anyone know if you can use a wireless controller with a Switch Lite? I'm afraid I don't know that, but I bet someone else in chat knows. Ah, oh, thank you for the offer, Moth. That's really sweet of you. Um, I think I should be able to help myself out maybe over in Athalia, my main town. Oh, thank you, Starfruit. I'm glad you like it so far. That makes me happy. And uh, welcome back from your lurk, uh, Claire. I've actually been meaning to add like an unlurk command. So maybe look out for that in the future, but I, I haven't added one quite yet. I think when I first started streaming, I didn't know that there was an opposite to the lurk command. I thought it was just uh, like a one-way street. <laughs> but I've uh, seen in some other streams now that there's like an unlurk command. <laughs> but welcome back, Claire. Oh, and hi, Stargirl. Welcome in. How are you today? Oh, and hi, Ashen. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like my island so far. I've done a mixture of, like, nice progress today, but also, like, some struggle as well and uncertainty. I felt, like, a little bit more sure of some of the other areas I've done in the Shire than this one, but um, it's all a process of trial and error. Oh, and thank you, Ginger. I never use the TV. It feels odd. Yeah, part of me wants to give it more of a shot though. <laughs> like, I feel like it's a waste that I never played on the TV. Like, part of me wants to give it more of a chance. But I guess what bugs me about the TV, and like I said, it's probably my own fault. Whenever I play on the Switch on the TV, I feel like the colors look wonky. Like, they look different than how they look on my computer or like on the Switch. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why, why do the colors look different on the TV? Um, so. You know me, I'm kind of a perfectionist, and I'm very color-oriented and design-oriented, so it, it throws me off a lot that the colors all look different on the TV. <laughs> yeah, how are you today, Ashen and the Star Girl? Those of you coming in, uh, what are you all up to? Uh, we've been working on the sort of bag-end garden and p piecing together um, some possibilities. Now I'm trying to figure out how to frame this pathway. Do I want to have a few trees like lining the cliff or... Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? I've always thought the tree planting rules were so cruel. Uh, I think it won't let me plant it right here anyway. 
Alright, so since trees aren't a question... I guess we'll have to stick to bushes and flowers and fencing and all that good stuff. My boyfriend has a switch light and it's a lot quieter for sure, but his character has got a bit of a limp because of the drift. Really? With a switch light? Oh my gosh. I wish Nintendo uh, could maybe get on some of these um, controller issues that they have. Um, at least I'm thankful, like I have one of the pro controllers and this one's pretty safe from drift issues, right? You can't get drift with a pro controller, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Always get happy when I see you're on. Oh, thank you, Stargirl. That really means a lot. I appreciate it. But yeah, we're uh, doing some cozy gardening today. And maybe the next time I stream in Bywater, uh, we could tackle a different sort of build. Because um, I know I've been focusing a lot on like gardening lately. Sometimes it's nice to switch it up and focus on a build. Oh, so you've never had any drift, Mercy? I've had uh, some drift with my Joy-Cons before, but it also has never really made it like unplayable. Like I know some people's drift gets so bad, it's almost unplayable. Like I've experienced it, but it hasn't been ruining for me. Uh, like sometimes it'll just be like, oh, well, that was a bit of a wonky thing my character just did and um, I may be able to continue playing. Oh, and hi, Ha! Welcome in. How are you today? Hope y'all are having a nice week and everything. Um, for those of you that are looking forward to, like, when some of this craziness is over, do any of you have plans for, like, what you'd like to do, like, after the pandemic is over? Like, the first thing you do when things are safe again and you're vaccinated, like... I know some people want to go see like concerts again or go to conventions again, go out to eat, get a tattoo. <laughs> like what are some of the things that y'all are looking forward to doing? Um, I admit I do kind of miss going out to eat and I feel like the restaurant business would love us to be, be able to go out to eat again. So uh, that's one thing I'm just, I miss and I look forward to doing. But we're just looking for flowers to, to garden with at the moment. Probably filling up my pockets in a questionable way in the process. <laughs> Probably doing a little bit of that. The amount of times I've dropped my switch over the years, I'm surprised I don't have drift issues. Um, I didn't know that that's what ca caused it. I drop my switch all the time too. <laughs> I have a bad habit. I like, uh, sometimes I fall asleep with my switch and, uh, then like the switch falls out of my bed. <laughs> Is that terrible? I feel bad. It's happened with my phone too. Like I, I freaking like fall asleep with my phone in the bed and I get like a, a scratched screen or something. I, I'm out of control. Being technology. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully this is good enough to sort of start uh, playing around with. Maybe a few more of these camellias. Just got settled in at home from work. Gonna work on my island. Oh, good luck, Ashen. All the positive vibes for your island work. You have a blue light. Um, Catboy. Oh, that sounds really pretty. I know a lot of people are a fan of the coral switch light, too. Oh, and hi, Curious. Took a break to make some dinner. Look at Rudy just vibing over here by the Grey Havens. They're so adorable when they come over here and enjoy this area because they look so out of place with the elegance of everything. They're so funny. Oh, and hi, Clarinet. Welcome in. Great to see you and have you here. Hope you're having a nice Monday. So you want to go back to concerts first thing, Mercy? Yeah, I feel like the concert industry is kind of suffering right now. Want to go to TwitchCon? Oh, I've never been to a TwitchCon before. Um, 
Do you think it'll happen this year? TwitchCon 2021, is that gonna happen? Get back to acting. Oh yeah, I know that for you, Lenore. Travel in general. Oh yeah, like getting back to our vacations every year and stuff. Yeah, I've definitely, um, I'm a pretty big staycation fan, so I guess I don't complain too much <laughs> about not being able to do that, but um, I should try to branch out and travel sometimes as well. First thing I want to do is go on an actual date. <laughs> Dating during a pandemic is hard. Yeah, I've kind of wondered about that at times. Like, I wonder, like, how people do it or if they're just doing it anyway. And that's part of why sometimes we have this uh, spread and these numbers that we do. <laughs> I don't know. How do you you just, like, talk? Like, e-date? Join a choir? Aw. Go to Disneyland? Cons, concert, Disney... You can't go out to eat where you live. Um, I do a lot of like more takeout and stuff. Maybe it's just me trying to be safe more so than any genuine like restrictions. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I haven't even gotten a haircut in a year. So I just try to be cautious. I don't want to get exposed. What villagers are on your island? Ah, oh, sure. I can pull them up real quick. Let me show you. Oh gosh, my, my head blocks it. <laughs> so let me uh, hide my head real quick. Um, got Kiki, Rudy, Murphy, Goldie, Quilson, Ursula, Victoria, Bones, Alfonso, and Pansetti. Kind of an odd bunch, but I love them. Oh, and hi, Moria. Welcome in. How's it going, Moria? Welcome to the Shire, Moria Balrog. <laughs> Don't wreak ha habit on the hobbits now. Gonna meet up with my friends all over the country and give them all big hugs. Oh yeah. It's been a while since I've uh, met up with some of my family because of it, but we do like video calls and stuff, so that's been helping to bridge the gap. Concerts, travel, and silly as it sounds, in-person classes. Do you all, um, how do you all feel about online classes? Do you all overall prefer going to a school? Because um, I've never dealt with online school before, but I wonder if part of me, like part of me would enjoy like not having to have a commute and just being able to wake up and uh, do my stuff without having to go somewhere. <laughs> but I, I do get the impression it is hard for y'all. I fall asleep on my electronics all the time. Oh, okay, I'm glad I'm not alone, Loki. I start university later this year, so I really hope I can generally live my best pandemic-free life there. Oh, good luck, Andrew. I hope that for you. I hope everything clears up. I, th I think it will start, too, with the vaccine and everything. I miss dining in restaurants, too, and birthday parties and family barbecues. Yeah, I love me a nice restaurant meal. Maybe it's partly because I'm not the best cook in the world, but nothing like going to a restaurant and getting a nice meal like that. Oh, and enjoy your lurk, huh? Wanted the pink light, but the gray is super pretty. Yeah, in a weird way, Mercy, I feel like it vibes with your island too. Mercy has a very wintry island, so I feel like the gray is just like perfect in a weird way been talking a little bit about switch lights and everything. Oh, I'm glad you made some good progress, Mercy. Feel free to share it in the Discord. The only con I ever wanted to go to was a supernatural con, but now that that show is ended, that will never happen. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've, I've been to a few anime cons, but like it wasn't really like my idea. Like I, I'm not a big anime person. <laughs> And uh, I, I have cosplayed before. I have been Aerith from Final Fantasy VII, and I think I still have that wig and that dress and everything, so <laughs> oh, that's kind of a funny little thing about me. You'd think I would cosplay as something Animal Crossing, right? But no, like Aerith from Final Fantasy. I'll spend time with your best friend and her one-year-old. 
Oh. That's a sh that's a shame about like uh, missing out on young folks' lives. Like my nephews and my nieces, um, they're pretty young as well, and I've also been not able to visit them. But um, I'm not really good with kids, anyways, though. So I I try not to worry about it too much. Um, I'm not really a talented kids individual. <laughs> So this area, I know I want this to be like wooden boards, like I want this to be like a kind of a deck to look out. Um, in fact, maybe we can find some QR codes to have like a wooden board area here. It's snowing for you, Stargirl. Oh, are you happy about it? Like online better, online. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a mixed feedback. Some people like it and some people don't. I guess I can see how the in-person learning would have more structure though, and maybe even like better, possibly more attention paid to you. Oh, wow, this looks so cozy. I'm so happy with how cozy it is. I guess that's all, that's what the Shire is all about is lots of coziness. You have the yellow light with a pink Sailor Moon skin. Wow, that sounds beautiful, Jules. I really like the uh, Switch skins. I think they do a good job of dressing up a Switch. Oh, thanks for linking the Discord, Andrew. Where I live, I have to travel to either Toronto or Victoria, and that's just too much money on top of the con. Yeah, the travel costs and stuff. I've only been to like local ones. I've never gone to a con like out of state or whatever. So only local stuff for me. What's the playlist you got on? Oh, it's called like Ghibli Jazz. If you just kind of want to search for those search terms later. But I can also try to grab a link for you as well if you want to try that out. But yeah, Ghibli Jazz. Oh, you like it, Andrew? Oh, <laughs> I actually have my volume really low. I, I feel like I can't hear it at all. <laughs> Maybe I should turn up my volume. The theme of this stream is running out of trees. I'm just forever needing to go get trees. <laughs> my girl is getting a workout today, you know, like lugging these trees around. She's really a... Uh... Basically the Hulk. I remember when I first saw this in the trailer, I just like died laughing. I thought it was so funny the way your character just like casually picks up a tree and puts it in their pockets. I was like, what? All the things that we were used to be like, what? That we just do so casually now. Oh my gosh, what if I totally like rain on Victoria's parade right here? Oh, she, she, she saw me coming. She was like, I'm out of here. I see what you're trying to do. Victoria caught me. <laughs> I'll do it to you again, though. She's so nonplussed. She doesn't care. She's like, whatever. Just walking around. All right, we got a few more trees. I thought you were watching Peanuts cartoons in the background. Oof. <laughs> I was so sleepy, was hoping to catch the full stream, but I'm passing out. Hope you have a good week. I'll catch the next one too, hopefully. Oh, thank you, Ma. Yeah, never any pressure at all. Um, thank you so much for always being so sweet. I've really enjoyed having you here. And yeah, my next stream will probably be Thursday. I am sort of contemplating. Um, I have been toying with the idea of having like a community night in Discord for a while. It's been a goal of mine for a while and um, I always wanted Tuesday to be the day because Tuesday is like a non-stream day. So I was thinking of maybe doing the first one tomorrow. Uh, maybe we can have a poll on whether you all would prefer watching a movie or playing a game. And if it's a game, should it be Mario Kart or Among Us? <laughs> 
I feel like I would enjoy Mario Kart with you all better if I was better at it. Like, if we play Mario Kart in Discord, we're gonna play 50cc, y'all. <laughs> we're gonna play 50cc. I want it. I need it for my self-care. <laughs> at least a few rounds of 50cc. We'll call it, like, cozy drive through the park Mario Kart. Force Life edi Edition. Mario Kart ASMR. Um... <laughs> Because I'm tired of getting destroyed. <laughs> oh, man. Did I... I don't have any more pears. Oh, have a good week. Great to see you, uh, Moth. Gonna head out to your boyfriends. Oh, good night, Mercy. Thank you for being here. Have a good time at your boyfriends. Say hi to him for me if that's not weird. It probably is. <laughs> is this Jazzy's How How's Moving Castle? I gotta turn this up, Andrew. And uh, let's come in here and get some fruit. Mario Kart. Imagine 200 CC. How about no? <laughs> Love How's Moving Castle. I have a calcifer tattoo. Wow, a calcifer tattoo. That's pretty sweet. Um, I've thought about getting my first tattoos, but um, I don't know if I'll ever actually bite the bullet and do it, but I've contemplated a few. I really like the show Dark. Um, if y'all have seen Dark on Netflix, and there's like this symbol from that show that maybe I would get like a small tattoo of. Um, sort of similar to all the people that would get like a small like Harry Potter lightning bolt tattooed on them or something like that. It would just be like a small one. Um, and I've also thought about like I really like flowery stuff. Like I've thought about just getting a flowery tattoo like across my shoulder or something. But that would be more of a commitment. I would have to commit to that. And I'm not sure. Um, all right, let's get some of these out of here. I could use so much more pocket space than what they give us, couldn't you? Can we have another game night then? I work five evenings starting Wednesday. Ah, uh, well, uh, the way that I would try to do it is like every Tuesday and then maybe sometimes on Saturdays, um, particularly Saturdays when I start stream on time. Because then maybe there would be time like after stream on Saturday, but sometimes my Saturday streams go kind of long or start kind of late. But yeah, I hope some of that sounds good and might make some sense. All right, well, I don't know if I like that country fencing I also don't know if I like that tree there. Uh, maybe I should just not do the tree there. Ah! Mario Kart pedal power. <laughs> I hate 200 cc. <laughs> Right, I got kind of an idea. I feel like this would be a cute spot to like maybe have a garden lantern since it's like right underneath this little spot here. I'm getting inspired to like put a garden lantern right here. Oh no, <laughs> that's not where I wanted it. And then what should go here? Another bush or fencing or maybe I could do one of those like little signs, like one of those wooden signs that point somewhere like the angled signpost. Uh, Cause it is kind of moving away from the house and potentially another area. I could also do some like cute examples of other sorts of more outside the box landscaping like I did over here for Sam's house. 
I could sort of um, maybe put a stool with like a watering can somewhere just to allude to the fact that it is a garden or uh, just do something more creative like that. Yeah, maybe I'll put like a little watering can on top of a stool or something cute. I'd love to try Among Us as a community as well though, not gonna lie. Yeah, that would definitely be cute. Um, I'm interested to see how it would go and um, sort of the specifics of the like technicalities of it. Like, would some people have mics and some people wouldn't have mics? When would we all mute the mics anyway? I mean, uh, it would definitely be a first for me to host that like in the, in the Discord, so. I'm not exactly sure how it would all work. Did I come out here with what I meant to come out with? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, floating biotope planter. I feel like I need to have this somewhere. Maybe not like right there, but I need to have this somewhere. Maybe it could be like one of the things down here, uh, like near the mailbox garden. But first things first, don't get distracted. Right here I wanted like a flimsy watering can on top of some sort of stool. Needs a hobbit hole door, if only Moria, if only. Oh, thank you, Juju. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like my island. Let's go and find a good stool. Do y'all have any stool suggestions for bag end? Like which one of these would be like the best sort of looking stool? Um, I don't even know if I have them all in here, but there's the log stool, there's the wooden stool. Um, there's like the mush stool, which I definitely don't think would be very fitting. Ah, I wonder if the piano bench would be the best thing, because the piano bench looks kind of fancy, and the and the bag ends are kind of fancy. They're, they're a little bit on the rich side, so I feel like maybe that would be the best thing to put over there. Really wish I had all the flowers and the bushes. Uh, you just need to find leaf enough times. Um, I can try to... I was about to say I could try to keep an eye on him um, and open up in the Discord whenever leaf is here, but I feel like we all have so, so, so much like different schedules from when we're checking Discord that um, I don't know if that would work as well as it used to in the beginning of the game. All right, well, that uh, that piano bench is, is definitely a move. I don't know if it's the move, but it is definitely a bold move. <laughs> now to put some sort of like watering can on top of it and see how it looks. Among Us is the easiest with all or most people having mics and you mute as soon as the meetings are over. Oh, okay, that's the way I played it once, the, the one time that I did it. I know the last time that I did a uh, voice chat, like in the Discord, some people had mics and then some people were like sort of writing text in the channel though, so that's why I said that. Alright, let's go and get a let's go and get a watering can. I know some people play Among Us hide and seek too, where you don't report bodies and just have to finish tasks before the imposter murders everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> so you don't report bodies and have meetings, but you just have to finish all the tasks before the imposter murders everyone? That actually sounds kind of cool. Because sometimes, um, sometimes it can get obvious, like, who it is, you know? So that can, like, end the fun kind of early. So I came in here for what? What did I come? Oh, yes. <laughs> We remembered. You think a mushroom stool more yet? Maybe I should be open to that. Maybe like a nice brown mushroom stool. 
and ha i usually don't do full island tour streams uh maybe like once in a blue moon every now and then which is very like unplanned and should never really be counted on um i have a channel points redemption for redeeming island tours i think i remember um touring years fa fairly recently though like i think it was in like the past month or so so i tend to try to you know want to add variety to those and not be touring the same island too much in a row uh all right so let's put the flimsy can right here oh I don't know if I'm really that much of a fan, but maybe I could do this somewhere. I just feel like right here is not the, the right spot for it, but maybe like tucked away back here, like in this casual part of the garden, I can put the watering can somewhere back there. All right, and we're making lots of progress on this part. Maybe I should do this side over here a little, or at least plant my trees over here. But at the same time, this might be a decently good stopping spot. I think part of me though, like the serotonin, I wanna see that other side like being filled out with trees. So I think I am gonna like put a few trees over here on this other side. And then that'll help me like really start to visualize how this area could come together. Made it bigger and better. Uh, that's always nice to make pro more progress on your island, huh? Uh, congratulations on that. All right, so I'm gonna set up a spot to like fourth tier glitch real quick. And I don't really know if I have the willpower to do the tree glitch though, like look at all this stuff over here. <laughs> Am I gonna have to move it all if I wanna do the tree glitch? So maybe that means I should not do the tree glitch if I just don't have the willpower right now. <laughs> I went to shovel snow hours ago and when I passed out and now I'm sitting here on my floor, like where am I? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sounds like you had quite the evening, Veshram, like forgot where you were, what you were doing. Uh, that must be tiring work though. I know that shoveling snow can be really hard work sometimes. Um, but good on you for getting it done, Veshram. All right, so this is the overlook and um, plan on doing this maybe another day with like wooden board patterns and a place to sit and chill out and watch the sunset over the party tree. Uh, but let's try to figure out what's going on on this other cliff. And let's get like one more tree before we go up here. <laughs> think it was just cold oh yeah you gotta be careful so let's go down here and find a good sized tree oh Kiki is so cute look at her little donut <laughs> Kiki what are you doing with a donut it's like 5 p.m. <laughs> it's too late for donuts Kiki's like, you can have breakfast any time of day. What are you talking about? All right, so this is the teenager tree that I wanted. And I'm kind of amazing myself with how quickly I'm going through like all the trees that I had everywhere. Like, wow, I'll have to plant some more. We do be going through these trees really quickly. <laughs> yeah, she is cute with that. Um, I think my favorite part of the garden, I definitely like this little area the best. Like, this is the part that I vibe with the most. I'm actually a little bit mad at myself with the, with the mailbox garden. I feel like I want to make this look better somehow. But I really like this part. And so let's see what it looks like to add those trees up here. 
breakfast, second breakfast, tweensies, lunch, supper, dinner. <laughs> Yeah, the hobbits do eat a lot, and uh, much to Aragorn's disdain. Aragorn just like uh, tosses an apple at Pippin's head or something like that. Yay, we did it. Took a few tries, but we got up here. And uh, let's see, I can definitely see myself maybe doing the tree glitch later. But I don't know if I have the energy right right now, and I also feel like it's possible that maybe I could get an arrangement to look good without the tree glitch, but we'll see. Um, have you watched the new Studio Ghibli movie? It's based off of a book by the same author who wrote Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, no, I haven't. What's the name of it, Leah? Have you uh, read those, by the way? Have you read some of these books that uh, Ghibli is based off of? For the longest time, I got Aragorn and Aragog's name mixed up. Wow, those are, those are quite different folks, aren't they, Loki? <laughs> hey, Andrew, if you're still in here, I know you hate Shelob from Lord of the Rings. Do you have the same disdain for, uh, for Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> With Aragog. All right, let's try this out. I wanna, I wanna see how this looks. But you know, part of me is just being lazy because I'm like, man, I want to do the tree glitch, but I've got too much crap over here, so I'm being a procrastinator. <laughs> it's called Earwig and the Witch, and it's the 3D, not classic animation style. Oh, okay. I think I've heard some things about that and people being kind of bummed out at the lack of the animation style. What do you think of that, Leah? Are you, are you still okay with it? I mean, I think the animation is part of like the, the charm of uh, Studio Ghibli movies, but at the same time, it is about the story as well, as long as the story's good. Oh my gosh, the trees add so much. It, and I don't even really think they look bad where they are, but you know part of me wants to see it, like if I shift them up with a tree glitch, if it would look even taller and better. Yeah, I like that. You can just add, imagine adding some bushes up there as well, and uh, some other sorts of pretty gardening items and just making that come together even more. And yeah, I like this overlook spot with the trees like overhanging the scene on either side. Oh, okay, I was just checking Andrew. <laughs> it figures, it figures. I've read Howl's Moving Castle. It was actually my favorite book as a kid, even before the movie came out. Oh wow, I feel like um, I, I didn't even really know it was a book for a long time. Um, that's really interesting that it was something that you just like found as a little kid when I hadn't heard of it. Not 3D animation. Yeah, I know that um, there's a lot of preference for uh, drawn animation and 2D animation, but I have been like, you know, just through watching stuff like Disney's Frozen, um, there is like a lot of work put into 3D animation as well, and it can definitely be an art and be something worthy as well, if done right. My biggest thing with that kind of gets on my nerves a little with like Disney's animation, I don't really like the way they do eyes, like the bug eyes of Elsa and stuff. I just, you know, everything else is fine, but can you like make the eyes a little bit less out there? Um, I don't know if that sounds weird to say, but the eyes kind of get on my nerves. Oh no, oh no, we're stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Would you say it's one of your worst fears, Andrew, is like spiders? Are you, like, basically Ron from Harry Potter? <laughs> Sneaky hobbitses. 
I've been meaning to order the book. It's apparently very different from the film. Yeah, I think I even made a mental note that I wanted to, you know, read it and check it out based off of some of y'all's recommendations here. And I get Audible, so I would probably get the audiobook. I have an idea for something. I think I want to maybe um, layer some of those plants, like those anthurium plants. I think I want to layer them behind some of these bushes. I feel like that would be a good idea. And uh, maybe I'll do red ones on either side and then a pink one in the middle, since I like the pink one the least. Book Howls is so hilarious and whimsical. It's a great book. I think the newest Ghibli I've seen is when Marnie was there. Oh, I haven't seen that one either. Um, I'm kind of on a Ghibli marathon though, y'all. Like I'm sort of checking out what I have on HBO Max and watching it. And I think I'm starting with re-watching uh, some of the Ghibli that I've already seen, but then I do plan on watching a few that I haven't seen as well catch up on some of that while I'm on vacation, you know? But thank you so much uh, for the recommendations, y'all. It's tough because it's way less charming, but I support their move to 3D if they need to. I understand how they can make them much quicker in 3D, and I'm sure it makes sense financially for them to want to get those movies out more often going forward. Thinking that they can definitely improve at getting the charm into it over time. Yeah, I agree. I see the validness of it as well, but I am just still like a little curious about it all since I know it's such a big part of like their trademark. It just really does make me go, hmm. But yeah, I'm interested to see how it plays out. And like you said, there's a lot of p practical and financial reasons uh, to do things like that. Same with what Disney found out, you know, Disney doesn't do 2D animation either. Love over Audible. Oh, is that another program or something, Vesharam? I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> I know Audible. I know Audible is kind of like owned by Amazon, though, right? Big Brother Amazon. <laughs> I have a fear of spiders. I can't even look at images of them or anything without freaking out. Oh uh, yeah, it definitely makes sense with um, what I've heard about you and like Sheila and stuff, Andrew. Uh, what do you all think of this, like, red camellia, by the way? Do you think it would look better if it was some other color? Like, maybe if it was the pink camellia or just a regular hedge? I feel like it draws the eye in a, a lot in a way that I'm not sure if it works or not. Or do you think it does work? Uh, I'm curious to hear what you all think. From what I've seen so far, the Earwig movie doesn't hold a candle to classic 2D animated ones, but you have to start somewhere. Yeah, um, I think I saw like a rough preview once and I was like a little bit like, oof, that's what it is, but um, we'll see how it evolves when it comes out. It's not out yet, is it? Oh, look at that little grasshopper or whatever that is. What is that bug? It's up on the fourth tier. I can't even get to that bug. That's so funny. We have a bug on the fourth tier. <laughs> Me like scared away since I can't get to it anyways. Oh man, I can't scare it away. This bug is just unperturbed by me. I love your use of different tree sizes. It adds so much variance. Oh, I'm glad you found something you'd like to do for your own island, Curious. I like to do it too. I forgot HBO Max has the Ghibli movies. I'm not sure if they have like all of them, but they definitely have some. I might I might tackle Mononoke tonight. I might rewatch Mononoke. Gonna watch it myself to make that call on my own. Yeah, that's always a good call, especially with something like big, like Ghibli, you know, uh, you really want to make sure like with something that has been important or special that you try to make your own call and don't just like write it off. You never know. Might surprise you. Okay, Veshram. I was like, ooh, Veshram's recommending me like a new like 
audible service or something. That's what I thought you were doing with that. <laughs> I think it was just a typo. Haven't seen Porco Rosso. Oh, me neither. I've mostly just seen the big classics, if I'm being real. <laughs> I'm a fake fan. Uh, still not sure what to do about that red camellia. But I think the other thing I wanted to do, which is probably what I went into my house for and then I promptly forgot, I want some of those like anthurium plants. So let's go and like not forget this time. Anthurium plants, anthurium plants. Oh, that's fine, Katie. Your kitties deserve it. I'm glad you gave your kitties some love. Welcome back. It's actually out on HBO Max. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, okay. It's already there? Dang. Okay, I am curious then. Maybe I'll check that out while I'm on my vacation. So let's go over and grab these plants that I keep forgetting about. Walk into my boyfriend's dorm. Oh, hey, Mercy. I'm sorry I missed your chat for a bit there. 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's way too cold for me. I know there's people, uh, some, sometimes people in the community talk about like negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit and stuff, which is just bonkers and I can't even comprehend cold that much. But yeah, that's definitely really cold in my, in my books, Mercy. Go and uh, stay warm and cozy up once you get to the dorm. Oh, you're gonna have vegan pa pancakes tomorrow, Claire? That sounds lovely. I'm vibing so much with the sunset. It really just makes everything like, look better than it really does. <laughs> it makes this area look better. But yeah, I feel like something I could do, um, I'm really nervous about this pathway and making this pathway look nice. Um, just part of why I'm like procrastinating it for now. Because I feel like for now this this pathway does not look cute and I want to make it look cute later, but maybe that'll be a project for another day. If you like sci-fi, my favorite audiobook has been Christopher Poloni's To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Not only is it a very well written book, the voice actress really elevates it. I find it so comforting. Ah, oh, thank you for the rec. I, I'm sitting on like 10 credits for Audible Vesheram, so I will probably get that. You know when you sort of get the credits piling up and you don't have time to go and see what new books you want to have, but you're like, oh, I'll take care of that later. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I need to, I need to go and redeem my Audible things. Everyone, hi dragon, welcome in. Thanks for stopping back by. Uh, what have you been up to? How's your week going? It's negative 30 with wind chill. Oh gosh, Lenore, I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. I don't know if I could deal with something like that. When I was younger, I saw some really pretty pictures of Canada and it kind of made me want to like live in Canada, but then as I got older, I was like, wow, I probably couldn't handle the cold up there. <laughs> it's been minus 40 Celsius here. Ooh, well, Celsius cannot comprehend Loki. Do not know, <laughs> do not know the Celsius. Gonna heat up some soup after stream. Oh, nice, Andrew. And don't, you know, don't let stream stop you either if you need to go and get soup right now. Got cozy Mr. Mittens taking a bath behind me. He's so cute. I guess I'm gonna try a hedge here instead of a red camellia. I can always just try like everything and see which one comes out the cutest. Uh, try a hedge, try a pink camellia, and just try it all. It's not as bad as long as you're prepared and wear the right clothes. Yeah, that is true about winter, I guess. That is true. I feel like unless you wear something on your face, though, like there's always like weak spots where it gets really cold. Like your face or your... I guess mostly just your face. <laughs> 
Oh, and Canon, thank you for the biddy. Oh, I'm with you, Andrew, with like the late nights. I wanna start doing that during my vacation just for like my productivity. I feel like I'm more productive at night. <laughs> I'm gonna start like staying up all night on purpose. <laughs> Oh, and hi, Moth. I have no idea how to do the fourth tier glitch. Does it take take a while to get it or has it been updated and doesn't work? I say if you're trying what I'm trying, Moth, you just need to keep trying until you get it and you'll find that you kind of get better at the glitch over time. It does say, take some trial and error and you've probably seen me um, try it a bunch of times and fail. So it's just a trial and error sort of thing. But if you do what I do, you just got to keep at it and you'll get there and good luck uh, feel free to let me know if you you know need advice on it or if, you, if you're having trouble with it I have a small wish list so I redeem my credits but haven't been listening yeah it's tough Vesheron because there's a lot of stuff to listen to other than audiobooks like I consider audiobooks to be one of the things that I can listen to but it doesn't always have to be what I listen to I can also listen to music always an old, old standby or also twitch streams especially if I want to like support other streamer friends and stuff you know have a, have one of their streams on uh, sometimes streams can get distracting though <laughs> you want to like start chatting and stuff have you watched Buffy, the guy who does Spike, James Marsters, narrates the Dresden Files by Jim Butcher? Ah, that's funny you mentioned the Dresden Files. I've read some of those. My dad is like a really big fan. Like he's obsessed with those books and he highly recommended them to me. And I started to read the Dresden Files a little, but I had a few complaints with it. I felt like it was very repetitive and like every book was like the end of the world. <laughs> Um, you just start to like lose that immersion if like every book is the end of the world, you know, like it can't always be the end of the world, but it always was in, in, in the Dresden world. But those books weren't bad either, though, and maybe I should um, go back to it. Oh, and another thing, he was like always about to die, like every every chapter and <laughs> you just start to lose the sense of urgency when like he's like always about to die, but he never dies. Uh <laughs> Anyway, that's my rant. My body always gets itchy in the cold. It's horrible. Oh, I'm sorry, Mercy. I know how you feel. I, I get more itchy in the winter as well. I think it's caused by dry skin. Uh, the, the winter makes our, our skin more dry and that's why we need like hand lotion and all that stuff. Beanies and wrapping a scarf around your nose and mouth. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about those creepy, like, ski mask things. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. Uh, you can definitely wear those, though. I was getting irritated. Oh, um, yeah, if you want, um, didn't I just do it a few minutes ago? I don't know if you got to see that or not. But if you want, I can always demonstrate it anytime. So I decided that I think I like the look of the camellia. I'm gonna try a, a pink camellia real quick though. And something I'm kind of bummed about, you can't really uh, see that plant behind it. Like I put a plant behind the bush and you can't really see it. So that's kind of bumming me out a little. I wanted to be able to see the plant, but oh well, can't have it all. I'm worried with the glitch that they'll patch it and you won't be able to change what's up there. Oh uh, yeah, Sienna, that is a risk. Um, the way I feel about it though is if I'm genuinely happy with what I put it that with what I put up there, um, it really does add something and add an extra dimension of my town. So I consider it worth the worth the risk in that way. But um, another thing is you could just avoid putting flowers up on the fourth tier because actually um that cleanup method can get everything up from the fourth tier except for flowers so trees furniture bushes i might have to double check but that cleanup option from your um 
terraforming hat tools or whatever, um, that can get most things. So maybe the pink flowers will kind of go better with all that like pink stuff I have down there. Maybe that looks a little bit better. This will look pretty in cherry blossom season, won't it? I would recommend because the nights are quiet, but it's a trap. Oh, really? How so, Katie? But yeah, I'll take any recommendation from you all if you want to help me fill out my audible list. <laughs> Keep reading, it gets better. He's got 16 or so out now. Yeah, I know, that's the other thing. There's like so many of them, it's intimidating. <laughs> they never end. Oh, and uh, I'm glad you got to the dorm nice and safe, Mercy. Uh, warm yourself up and have a great night with, uh, with your boyfriend. Maybe place the plant in the half space between the two bushes. Ooh. That's a fascinating concept. I'm sorry if I make anyone dizzy with how much I pan up. Or something taller. Is there anything taller than that anthurium plant? Like, I guess there's these weird, like, wedding things. Um, there's also the cherry blossom branches, but I low-key hate those because they're, like, 1.5 spaces. <laughs> but, yeah, we could try maybe a cherry blossom branch if it would work back there. Would it... Uh, let's let's grab a few more things and check. Oh, thank you for the feedback, Starfruit. I'm glad you like the pink. It's difficult to get out of a messed up sleep schedule, or at least for me. Yeah, but it'll be worth it, Andrew. <laughs> it'll be worth it. So let's see if I have any more of those cherry blossom branches. Maybe cypress trees while we're at it. Going to sleep at like six or seven now and can't get out of it? Oh, you mean six or seven in the morning, Katie? Ah, who's your new cranky villager, Vixby? I love what you're doing. Can I steal that idea? Oh, sure. I mean, I don't mind people drawing inspiration from what I'm doing. Um, I figure that's part of the appeal of like uh, streaming your content is you can sort of maybe get ideas from watching what other people do. All right. Um, I need the pockets to be less questionable. <laughs> let's let's drop some flowers. Hmm. Maybe a fan palm? Ah, oh, thank you for the suggestion. Maybe I will order a few more plants for variety. I don't really have too many. Oh my gosh, trying to type while my while my head is covering the keyboard. I can't do it. I'll look over at my other screen. My setup is really funny because I can see my entire Elgato stream on that other monitor. I have another monitor to my left, but guess what covers it up? My my mic, yay! So you know, my, my whole setup is just pretty flawed. <laughs> uh, so the fan palm comes in a few other colors. Do these ones change the leaf colors as well? I guess not, they're all like the same color leaves. Oh, thank you too, Gan. I'm glad you like the party tree. Are you, uh, are you like a Lord of the Rings fan since you like got that reference? Or have you just heard me call it that before? <laughs> Alright, so let's glitch up here and uh, test out a few more things. Maybe vibe with the sunset a little. Yay! I love when I can do it so easily. It makes me happy. All right, I bet the game will not allow me to place these cherry blossom branches. And I'm going to rage about it a little, and then I'm going to get over it. <laughs> Why? 
Will you let me place it now? I'm so sad. Oh, I bet it would look so good. But maybe before I try the cherry blossom branches, I should try what someone said about putting that anthurium plant like right in the middle between the two bushes. And which color should we do, y'all? Like red, pink, or brown? Maybe I should do red, uh, since, yeah, maybe I should do red. Eh, why do I keep dropping brown? <laughs> Let me drop red, please. No. <laughs> All right, it's gotta be this one. Yay, <laughs> yay. What time of year do you have this set to? Um, it's like early March. Um, my favorite time of year, or my favorite weeds, I should say, um, are in early March. And that makes it one of my favorite times of year since I love the weeds so much. But yeah, it's when the camellias are in bloom in early March. Ooh, wow, did it work? Can I see a little bit of that plant now on the pan up view? Ooh, just barely. You can see it like a little. It's it's really faint, I think. Yeah, you see it? It's so subtle. Maybe it's worth it though. Just adds like a little bit of subtle something something. Yeah, I might I might keep it just for the absolute subtlety of it all. <laughs> and yeah, this has been um a really cozy little landscaping project and I feel like this part of the garden is looking especially grand and then this side's like a little bit more rustic and maybe needs more work but uh, the rusticness could work well with like leading up to this spot that's gonna have like a little rocking chair and look out over the garden or look out over the party tree so it's okay to have like a little bit of a transition to rusticness on this side I think. The cherry blossom branches make me so sad too. I'm glad I'm not alone, but at the same time, I I wish things were different, Jules. Cries on 1.5 by 1.5. I, I know, a mood. You think pink would be better? Ah, oh, I understand that too, again. You're probably thinking that because it blends in too much with the red. <laughs> I guess I could agree with you, honestly. Maybe I should do that. You think pink too, starfruit? All right, let's do it then. I think this is part of why I'm uncomfortable with this path is because it's like all yellow and white over here and then it's all like red and pink over here. Um, and it's gonna be annoying to try to make these two cliffs look good with each other like when you're standing right here because they have such like different feels on either side. So I'm kind of dreading that a little. Oh, nice. Octavian's a cutie. I like Octavian. Oh, thank you, Vixby. You like how subtle it is, Jules? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna try the pink. Oh, and hi, Asuna. You like a little subtle something something ashen? <laughs> I'm glad you feel me on that. Oh, thank you, Starfruit. Let's try this uh, pink one over here. Where is a pink one anyways? Ah, oh, here it is. First try. It's like as satisfying as nailing the fourth tier glitch on the fourth try is dropping the thing in the right color. <laughs> is it any more visible? Maybe just a little bit? Oh wow, look at these cherry blossom branches. I feel like it's equally as subtle, if I'm being honest. It's like equally as subtle, but it still looks fine. Aw, sounds like Pashmina's being cute, Loki. All right, well, I might go ahead and wrap up now. I've been live for about five hours. That's a pretty solid uh, stream time. Um, Feel free to stay in touch though, especially 
over on Discord, since I'm thinking about these uh, community nights, maybe we could think about whether we want to watch a movie or, or play a game tomorrow, perhaps, and um, feel free to leave suggestions over in the suggestion um, channel for me. And also, um, feel free to check out like socials as well for postings elsewhere around the web and to keep up with like go live notifications and stuff. But thank you all so much for watching and I appreciate it. Um, I enjoyed streaming all our chats and making a bit more progress, steady by steady progress on um, the area around Bag End. I think it's definitely looking more satisfyingly uh, filled out, um, if not totally perfect. In fact, just for a little bit of chaos at the end of stream, uh, <laughs> this area over here by the mailbox has been kind of bugging me the whole time. I don't think it looks good. So I was going to say, like, let's go and uh, destroy that real quick just to <laughs> satisfy myself as we're saying our goodbyes. Uh, but good night, Curious, and uh, good night, Katie and Andrew and Lee and Ashen. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Good night, Targaryen and Vixby and Nufi and J Peach and Leah. Oh, and good night, Tugan. All right, so we chaotically <laughs> destroyed this a little. Um, I look forward to maybe doing something simpler over there. I feel like it was looking too busy. Don't you feel like you can just like breathe a little bit more like without having like all those like cypress plants and bushes? I don't know. I feel like it works better to have that be more easy going right there. All right. So already feeling better about it. Good night, everyone. See you all uh, Thursday. Um, I've been meaning. Let me see if there's anyone online. I feel like... I could definitely like raid more than I do. Uh, let me at least see if there's someone who jumps out at me. All right, well, I actually don't see a whole lot of people online with Animal Crossing right now. If you have a big suggestion, feel free to like leave it out. But um, if not, maybe I'll just awkwardly <laughs> end now, now that I, got the hopes up for a raid but yeah I just feel like I should more when I see friends online and stuff ah oh, thank you for the bits Lenore I appreciate it oh Ashlyn Pierce um I've actually done an event with her before yeah we did like this AC live event thing together um so that would be cute to go and uh, say hi to her she's doing a search for a uh, peanut so if y'all want to go and watch a villager hunt and Go say hi to Ashlyn. Feel free. Um, I'll start that raid. Thank you all so much for watching again. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. See you around. And uh, much love. Alright. Bye everyone. See you over in Ashlyn's. <laughs>